Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Now, before we get started, as always, we gonna say, call all your house. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom, to Ophel, and Shalom. That we out here again, as always, week in and week out, going out there on the highways and byways, like true men of the Lord always do. Not sometimes, but all the time. So, hey, we're going to go ahead and get started. Con, con. First scripture. Go ahead, my brother. All right, um, Ezekiel, you want to start with our Proverbs? Uh, matter of fact, you can go ahead and start with that Ezekiel, man. All right? Because we already, man, man, you know what we're going into, baby? End time prophecies, man. That's right. Supposed to be, man, we hasten for the day of Yahweh Shema was shot, man. We hasten, for the, we hasten the day of the Lord, man. All right? That's the spirit, that's the mindset we in, man. All right, that's the mindset you're supposed to be in, man. Seeing prophecy is fulfilling every day. Prophecies get closer and closer. All right? You know, seeing inflation, seeing hyperinflation. All right, you know what I'm saying? See, you hearing and seeing more rumors and more rumors of war. All right, you know? So, you know, you're hearing and hearing more talks of, of, of this dollar bill collapsing. All right, you know? Coming into what? They're talking Bitcoins. And, you know, Bitcoin ain't nothing but a cold word. You know what I'm saying? Usher, ushering in this uh, digital currency, man. All right? right? Coming into the age of the Karak. Coming to the age of Karak, man. Okay. All right, 2022. Hey, hey, hi, Elder Apostle Hart. Theme for 2022. Hey man, hey the year to turn up, man. That's right. Right? You know? That's Go right. ahead, bro. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, starting at the top. All right, let's get a little closer. We got this wind coming. Got the wind won't be drowning and cutting our voice. We'll get this, a little close to the camera. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, starting at the top. Go ahead. The hand of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema was shy, was upon me mm -hmm. and carried me out into the spirit mm -hmm. of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema was shy. Go ahead. And sat me down in the midst of the valley. Mm -hmm. Which was full of bones. Kind. And that valley where Yahweh was shot, you know what I'm saying, was showing, you know what I'm saying, Ezekiel, the vision, future prophecy of Jake, our people today, the state and the mind of our people today. And that valley is talking about America, man. Yep. A valley is what? A low land, man. Yep. All right. And what and what does America have, man? America's a low land. Not only is America is a low land, but it's a low land and it's a place of no morale, man. All right. They got low morals, man. All right. Low morale, low morals, man. All yep. right. A man, a man, a man can be a woman. A woman can be a man. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? You right. know, uh, kids don't have to respect their parents. Kids can call the police on their parents and their parents discipline them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, everything is out of order, man. Over yeah. here in Babylon, man, it's low land, which you call America. There's no justice here in America for the children of Israel, man. All right? You don't get no justice here, man. All right? Because you have the wicked that's ruling, which is Esau. All right? Go ahead, bro. Yeah, that sounds like hell to me, bro. Yeah, that's hell right now, man. That's, that's hell, like man. Hell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, see, but see, Jake, you know, you ask a nigga in church, they're going to go to church tomorrow, Sunday service tomorrow. <laughs> right. He going to tell you, you know, hell is a place. He ain't going to say it's a condition. He said, he, he going to tell you it's a place where if you don't accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and your Savior, it's a place <laughs> somewhere underground, underground. in a spiritual realm, <laughs> underground somewhere where you're going to burn for eternally or whatnot. That's what they teach you, man. That Hollywood shit, bro. All right? You know what I'm saying? Greek, Greek mythology. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Ezekiel chapter 37 and, and 2. Mm -hmm. and, because, and, and cause me, I'm going to start back at the top and read on down. Ezekiel 37. It says, the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, was upon me mm -hmm. and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, mm -hmm. and set me down in the midst of the valley, mm -hmm. which was full of bones. Kind. Verse 2, and caused me to pass by them round about. Kind, man. And behold, there were, there were very many in the open valley. Yeah, man, talking about Jake, talking about Israel, talking about you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, yeah, hey, the uh, Rukar Kadash is on Ezekiel, man. Yeah. Where Yahweh Bashim al Rashad is showing Ezekiel those visions, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, where he's seeing Jake in the condition that they are in today, man. Seeing Jake with their pants hanging off their behinds, seeing the women being harlots, you know what I'm saying? Wearing, wearing scandalous clothes, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you're seeing our people seeing the, seeing the false prophets, all right? Jake, you know what I'm saying? Jake, the sellouts. You know what I'm saying, you know? Hey man, he just seeing the state of, he seeing Jake in every philosophy under the sun. Jake trusting in their enemies, Esau. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, you know? Ezekiel seeing our people at, at his lowest estate, man. All right, he can't even, can't even recognize him, man. All right, cause you know, Yahweh Shema was gonna ask Ezekiel a question later on. <laughs> Ezekiel gonna tell the most high, he looking at the state of our people. <laughs> hey, uh, only you know, Lord. Only yeah. you know, <laughs> go ahead. I'll... Ezekiel chapter 37 and two. 
and caused me to pass by them round about. Mm -hmm. And behold, there were many, there were very, there were very many in the open valley, and lo. Shalak, Shalak, brother, it's always that got wind is blowing. Got strong winds out here, got heavy winds. Hey, man, it's part of the elements, man. Part of the elements, bro. You know? Come. Go ahead, over. And, and, and lo, mm -hmm. they were very dry. They were very dry, man. Why they, the, why, why they was dry? Because they ain't had no, they ain't had that water, man. Yeah. Representative knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man. They ain't they had that water in them, man. Kind. All right, you know? As hey, a matter of fact, that proper oh, nourishment. Man. Let me get uh, let me get St. John 7 and 38, Barbara Shaw. And hey, read that one, once again, Barbara Shaw. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 2. And it says, and caused me to pass by them round about. Because physically, physically, if you ain't got no water, you, 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 you ain't got no water because your body is made up 70% water, right? Yep. The earth is made up 70% water. So, you know what I'm saying? You can go. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have no water and you got a dang on body, eventually what's gonna happen? You're gonna dehydrate. Man. Yeah. All right? But well, it's gonna pass, bro. You're gonna right? dry you know? up? You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna <laughs> like, dry the yeah. fuck up like a raisin. Man. Yep. <laughs> yep. Shit. Call you one of the raisins and shit, man. <laughs> then you're you know? gonna start bugging out. Yep, 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 you know? So, in essence, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got that spiritual, you ain't got a spiritual water in you, man. You know what I'm saying? You dead if you got a spiritual water in you, bro. That's right. You know? At the end of the day, that's why people are dry because they ain't got, they ain't got, they ain't got the knowledge and understanding of y'all about you know what man. They dry, man. They dry bones in the valley, man. You know? I got that time. Go ahead, brother. It's the book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. Uh-huh. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, mm. out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Living water, man. So that living water represents this knowledge and understanding of the truth, man. All right? And that only can be given to you through the, through the Rakar Kadash, the Holy Spirit, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? That's the only way you can get that. And to prove that, let me get uh, St. John 15 and 16 real quick. Barbara Shaw, get St. John 15 and 16 real quick. Just to prove that for you. It's the book of John chapter 15, verse 16. It says, ye have not chosen me, mm. but I have chosen you. So, so everything is the will and everything is the election of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah at the end of the day. Let me get that in Romans 9 chapter, bro. You know what I'm saying? The will of your house, I should have a shot. All right, we're gonna hold Ezekiel 37, but you know, just, just proving that point in Romans, the ninth chapter. We start off where they go into like Jacob and Esau, you know what I'm saying? For his election, the most high election, all right? Not according to their works. Go ahead, read that. They started back up, Barbara Show. John chapter 15, verse 16. Mm -hmm. They say, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Yeah, because, you know, in the church, pretty much in the world, man, because you know, the earth is given to the wicked. Job 9 and 24. You know what I'm saying? The Yahweh Shema was shy, a lot of his death was ruled for a certain amount of time. And Esau, the wicked, what did he do, man? He ruled by deception. He ruled by lies, man. That's why Yahweh Shema was shy had to set up the prophets, you know what I'm saying, you know, to break down all the strongholds, man. All right, you know, what you see today. Start with our elves of Posse, Great Millstone on down, that's, man. You know, breaking the strongholds, breaking the lies of, of Esau at the end of the day. But the point of the matter is, the only way you can be able to break the strongholds of, of Esau, Yahweh Hashem HaVashah got to be dealing with you, man. All right, you know? And they got to be the election of Yahweh Hashem HaVashah, you know? Like I say in Esau, going back to Esau as, Esau, he, he'll set up seminary schools, theologian schools. You know, if you go ahead and you pay, get, you pay, you got to pay Esau and give you shit free. You got to pay for a damn degree. Once you pay for that theological degree and shit, Esau here, here, he'll give you a, he'll give you a certificate when you you are ordained or a minister, or state of South Carolina, you you here. Esau ordained you pretty much, man. You know, hey, you can't man can't ordain you, man. You can't ordain yourself. And damn sure Esau, he the fucking wicked, man. He ain't authority of the scriptures, bro. He ain't got authority of the scriptures. Most I ain't dealing with his ass, bro. You know what I'm saying? So Esau can't Esau can't ordain you for nothing, man. At the end of the day, he ordain you for some vanity, vanity or whatnot. But you how about how Shah has to ordain you, man? All right, to be of the elect. Like the elders apostles always say, you can't make yourself of the elect. You can't make yourself a prophet of the Lord, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? This is the election of Yahweh by Shema. It's election of Yahweh, man. Actually, it's the election of Yahweh. Yahweh was the one that single-handedly chosen the elect to give the elect to Yahweh Shah, bro. You know? So you mean to tell me Esau can't give you a crown of life? Nah, Esau can't give it, man. Esau give you a crown royal or some shit. <laughs> Esau give you no damn crown of nothing, man. Not no crown of life. No, hell no. Nah. Esau, Esau, man, like I said, Esau can't even add an extra second to his kingdom. Man. He can't add an extra second to his kingdom, man. 
so 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 it's stupid as hell to, to, to be in league with Esau or the or the, the trust in the Egypt, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Let's go ahead, bro. Uh, Romans 9 and uh uh is 15. And that just proving the point, what the Akia is bringing out, that hey man, everything is the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man. If you don't believe in the most high, somebody, I don't believe in no God, man. I don't believe in no Lord, man. I don't believe in no mystery God, man. You know, well, guess what? The reason why you don't believe because Yahweh Bashim al Shah rejected your ass, it wasn't because you had a freedom of choice. Then you got freedom of shit, bro. Everything's the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shah at the end of the day. Matter of fact, give me Proverbs 20 and 24 real quick, man. Because Jake, they quit to tell you we got free will, brother. Free will, brother. You know what I'm saying, you know? Because, see, Jake don't like instructions, man. Nope. They say you got free will. When we tell them everything is already predestined, oh, they, oh man, that's some spooky stuff right there, man. That's some spooky that most high already got everything set up. See, yep. Jake don't like authority. Jake don't like to follow instructions, man. That's why Yahweh Shimei Hawashah, you know what I'm saying? That's why Jake is up on these curtains. That's why the Most High plucked us out of his sight, man, which out of the land of Israel. That's why the Most High turned his back from Israel for a portion of time and gave us over to our enemies. Yep. Why? Because Jake couldn't follow instructions. Jake wanted to do, Jake wanted to do and lean on their own understanding and follow the ways of the heathens, follow the cut, follow the heathen customs like they do today. All right? You know what I'm saying? Like they goddamn do today, man. Okay. Go ahead, brother. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. It says, man's goings are of the Lord. It says, man's goings are of the Lord, man. So if you got a nigga like Sarnetta, I'm talking about he, he, he African conscious, you know what I'm saying, you know? And he, he comedic, you know? He don't believe in the Lord. The woman's God, and God really is a woman. Guess what, man? The most high put that demon, put that reprobate demon on that nigga, man. All right, any other nigga like that, bro. So if a nigga don't freaking believe, guess what? It's the will of Yahweh Bashim al Bashar. You can't, re how you gonna reject the power that created your ass, bro? How, the how, how does that happen, man? Can your sneakers tell you, hey, can your, you know, you got some Jordans, can your Jordans tell you, hey, you better not put no felines on, man. We're gonna have a problem. We're gonna have an issue. You put no, you put no felines on, man, you know? Nah, man, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 Going, going to the scripture, which brother go uh, read out in Romans. I ain't gonna even quote it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm gonna let scripture speak. But go ahead, brother. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. It says, man's goings are of the Lord. It says, man's goings are of the Lord. Go ahead. How can a man then understand his own way? Man, how can a man then understand his own way? So the most high already done written out, most high already written out your life, man. Most high already written out your life. What you gonna be? Whether you gonna be a prophet, or whether you gonna be a two-third, whether you gonna yep. be uh, 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 part of the 144,000 of the first fruit, or the one third, you know, or are you gonna be part of the two thirds, man? All of that is the will of Yahweh at the end of the day, bro. All right, you know, not of your own. Ain't no such thing as no fucking free will, man. Time, bro. The Most High, He pull all the strings, man, that you see that take place today. The Most High is the one that control the minds of the kings, man. All right, the Most High give Putin his ideas, man. <laughs> right. the most High give fuck Putin. He give the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers their ideas, man. Yeah. All right, you know, okay, because. The demons and shit, all the demons, when they take counsel, hey, hey, hey you know what I'm saying? When they take counsel, most high give them demons their instructions, man. All right? Demon, hey, hey, you know, like the, in the scripture about what, 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 what king that was, man? They have, what king that was? They have that, 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 uh, they say put a lying, um, spirit where they had a counsel. When they had, when, when Yahweh Shemashah would have a counsel with the angels, with Satan and the angels, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying? No, you know, Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? I think one, the lying demon say, the deceiving demon say, hey, I'll come up there and, and you know, I can deceive Ahab and think he's gonna win the war or whatnot, you know? But see, if you tell Jake, and you, and you know, you find that account. Okay. If you tell Jake that, you know what I'm saying? You know, Jacob bugged the hell out, man. No, no, not the most high. Jake in the church. No, not my God. Not my God. God, God don't kill, Satan kill. Right. You know, Jake in church, they tell you Satan kill, man. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead, brother. Go ahead. This is, uh, I can get back in there, uh, mm -hmm. whatchamacallit. Go ahead. It's the book of uh, John, chapter 15, verse 16. It says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go. So that means uh, Saul, King Saul, he wasn't of the elect. Now, if it was up to Saul, he would have what? Choose the Lord. But what? Yahweh by Shem Al Shai had what? Rejected Saul because he's not of the elect. Going back into what? Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And it says, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Now on the five for the elect. All right. 
and get first kings 24. Right. Bear with us, bear with us, man. <laughs> with the elements, with the elements, man. We found it. We found that script. We found that precept. Yeah, first kings. Uh, matter of fact, you might have to make, make start up a little above that. Oh, I, I got you. Yep, 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 yep. And we, and we reading that account to where, you know what I'm saying, where you, how about your mouth was we're having a council, man. All right, you know? They were sitting at the table, man. <laughs> you know, they be doing it in the little, ma the mafia, ma you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. movies and shit, you know? You know, most high, that's the, that's the ultimate couple right there, sitting at the table, man, you know? But go ahead, though, brother. First I'll let you King, bring that account. Uh, uh, 22, I started 18. Okay. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me, but evil? Mm -hmm. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord Yahweh by Shema mm -hmm. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Yeah, on his right hand and his left. The right represents, the right hand represents the righteous angels. There man. you go, bro. All right, the left Ooh. represent, you know, the wicked angels, which you call Satan. Yeah. You know, you niggas in the churches. They'll tell you it was they had a war in heaven, man. So 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 how the world the most high having a council, but yet they had a war in heaven though, man. Wait, wait, Satan supposed to be fighting the most high man. <laughs> right. in heaven. Then there, there, there were Esau push out there, man. And our and our people regurgitate that, man. Like 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 that's the gospel or something, man. That bullshit, bro. You know? That, 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 that's foolishness, man. Yeah. Alright, at the end of the day or whatnot. That's why a lot that's why a lot of Jake don't even believe in the Bible because of that mythology madness that Esau pushes out there, man. That's not in the scriptures, man. That's why the most I have is men. That's why Yahweh Shemal Shah said, I sent the apostles last at the end of the day, man. Starting out, it was apostles, man, on down, man. All nah. right, go ahead, bro. Continuing on, uh, 1 Kings 22 and 19. And he said, Hear thou, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shai. Mm -hmm. I saw the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shai sitting on his throne. Mm -hmm. And all the host of heaven standing on him on his right hand and on his left. Why we so so if the angel Satan could do what he want to do, why he why, why if Satan was sitting on the left, man? See everybody in order, man. Exactly. Everything is under order, everything is under dominion, under Yahweh, man. That's right. the most high, man. Alright, ain't nobody fighting them. Why the hell something gonna fight the most high? And so, how the how the world something gonna defeat the most high? Something he created, man. How you gonna create something stronger than you or powerful than yourself, man, at the end of the day? It's something that can create you. If it can create you, it damn sure can destroy <laughs> your ass right. too, man. Right. All right, you know? Go ahead, bro. Continue That's on. That's why he the most high, man. The supreme being, man. That's right. Right? The most high say is no power but me. <laughs> okay? All right. Let's get, let's, let's, get, let's, get that, let's get that understanding, all right? Go ahead, bro. First King 22 and 20. Mm -hmm. And the Lord, you how about Shema Shai? Then if Satan can do what the hell he wanted to do, why Satan didn't just kill Job? Most high, you know what I'm saying? Most exactly. high and Satan made it back. And, and, and Yahweh told Satan, you can do anything you, you want to Job other than take his life, man. And, and, and Satan, Satan can do what the fuck he want to do. You know what I'm saying? Why, why he ain't just take Job's life? Showing you that Satan is under order, man. That's right. Everybody's under order under Yahweh by Shemel Shah, man. You know? Let's go ahead, bro. First King 22 and 20. Mm -hmm. And the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shah said, mm -hmm. Who shall persuade Ahab? Hey, remember, hey, remember how y'all on the scene? What happened, man? Remember them damn demons? What, what happened? Them demons, they jump in the damn pigs, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know? Hey, y'all was trying, I know it's not our time yet. Y'all was trying, not our time yet. <laughs> you know, them motherfuckers uh, jumping in the pigs, them demons jumping the pigs and you jump in the damn water. Drown them, man. You know? Come on, man. Go ahead, bro. First King 22 and 20. And the Lord, Yahweh by Shema was shy, said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Galad. Yeah, so that way, how much you might have shot me? Because so can the Most High send you a, 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 a deceiving, you know, can the Most High uh, send you a deceiving spirit? You damn right. You're reading the account right here, man. You're reading the account right here, bro. You know? Can the Most High set your, you, you got Jake out here can set your ass up. Hey, hey, Yahweh, hey, that's the ultimate Jake right there, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Most High will set your ass up, man. Look at who he put over us, man. Damn Esau, man. You know what I'm saying? Need I say more? You know? Okay. Oh, hold, hold that, hold that. I'm not going to read this count. First, first King 22 and uh, 20, it says, And the Lord Yahweh by Shemal mm -hmm. said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth the head? Yeah, so the most I have in that council, man. So, most I say, hey, which, which, hey, which one of y'all demons? <laughs> Boy, you know what I'm saying? Want to go ahead and set goddamn Ahab up, man. All right? Be that <laughs> lying, deceiving spirit to him, man. Come. All right? And, and, and look how the angels, whether, they, whether the angels on the right hand or whether they're on the left hand, Look, the angels, they love to do the bidding of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, man. That's right. And yes, Satan's one of the angels, too, of the Lord, man. Yeah. All right, on the left-hand side, man. All right, he the top angel on the left-hand side. All right, go ahead, bro. 
and one said, continuing on, 1 Kings 22 and 20, and one said on this matter, and another said on that matter. Mm -hmm. And there came forth a spirit, mm -hmm. verse 21, 1 mm -hmm. Kings 21 and 22, mm -hmm. and there came forth a spirit mm -hmm. and stood before the Lord Yahweh by Shema and mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. I will persuade him. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. And the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai said unto him, mm -hmm. Wherewith? <laughs> <laughs> See, they already they plotting it. They putting their head on him, man. Right. They putting their head on him, man. Hey, hey, you can call this right here a conspiracy, hey, right? There you go. <laughs> Would you call that a conspiracy? Good. All right. They they come together, they conspire together, right? That's right. Okay. All right. They conspire together uh, on King Ahab ass. Set his ass up, man. Because he was wicked. King Ahab was a wicked ass fucking king, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Hell, he was he was worshiping. He was a, he, he he was big in idolatry worship, man. At the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. And Yahweh Shema Shah sent the prophets like Elijah as one of them to give him to get you know what I'm saying to give him warning. And, and yeah, guess what? He didn't take heed of that warning, man. All right. So the Most High is justified. And okay, so you didn't want to take heed. All right. You know what I'm saying? I gave you the warning. I done sent the prophets to you. Hey, yo, hey. And Most High about to bring judgment to his ass, which is gonna be death. And that just like you two third niggas, man. Yeah. All right. Ahab was a two third nigga, just like you two third Jakes out here, and don't want to listen, man. You don't want to hearken to your how about stream how we shot. Jake want to do their own thing, man. The truth that's too boring for him. It's too much of a burden, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? For me to have to change my lifestyle, mm. you know, my black culture, like black, like pop culture ain't killing our people enough. Exactly. Bro. Hip hop culture ain't killing our people enough, man. Destroying our people enough or whatnot, man. Right. You know, hey, the brother was just telling me. Uh, situation is something that happened early during the week with some little man, man, yeah, tell yeah, just it. yesterday you had an incident where you had uh, uh, three little demon kids pretty much beat the shit out of their uh, grand aunt, an 80 year old lady, man. And then you had a, a, a adults that was uh, taping the footage, man, mm -hmm. taping the footage as you watch these three monsters mm -hmm. uh, 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 going at their uh, great aunt and like kicking a power, power razor, kicking her, hitting her with frying pans and all type of shit, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but this place, but this place ain't got to go. Though. This ain't Babylon. All right, bro. Continuing on, this is uh, First King twenty-two and uh, 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 tw uh, twenty uh, twenty-two. It says, "And the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Mm -hmm. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him, and prevail also. Go forth and do so." Read that one more time, Brother First King 22 and 22. And the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai said unto him, Wherewith? Mm -hmm. And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Come. So the most I said, the most I get a green hey, light. <laughs> Take his ass up. Most I get, hey, hey most I did it. Hey, hey, like, uh, I forgot what, um, I forgot what mafia boss this was, man. You know, I don't think it was. Costello, I forgot what damn balls. There wasn't no, wasn't no John Gotti. I forgot what goddamn mob balls this was. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. You know he, you know he really didn't say no words, man. You know what I'm saying. He'll do thumbs up and thumbs down. Right. But they mention certain names. So you know what I'm saying. Just in case the feds had his phone tap, you know what I'm saying. They can't get him for, um, you know what I'm saying. They can't get him for saying any damn thing or whatnot. You feel me? Gotcha. So you know what I'm saying. When they mention the person name. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, hey, Billy. Hey, you know, Billy. You know, Billy was was short. Was, was short last two weeks with the money, boss. Well, what's up with Billy? You know, we gonna throw Billy a, a surprise party. Hey. You know, and he do this right here. Hey, Billy gonna get that surprise party, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. at the end, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know. So, hey, man, that's your how about Shima with Shah? You know what I'm saying? Like I say, give him the green light. Hey, to yeah. take Ahab out. But see, our people. See, the reason why they don't fear Yahweh by Shema Shah, because they don't they they're not taught the true yeah. um God of the Bible, man. They're not taught Yahweh by Shema Shah the Bible, the scriptures, man. All right, they're taught lies. Yeah. They're taught a uh, plantation doctrine, a slavery plantation doctrine by the oppressors, man. Yeah. All right, you know what I'm saying? Um go ahead, brother. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Oh, yeah. And this brother right here about to read a trait of the most high man, Yahweh, man. Who y'all saying God, God love, God is all love. Got like 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 the most high don't have number one emotion, man. Most high they, they just put they limit the most high to one emotion. Man. Yeah. Right. But yet the most high say he's a jealous power. Not, <laughs> but yet the most high right. say he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So how do you destroy something out of love, brother? How, how do you destroy something out of love, man? I, I don't understand that. Help me, help me help me figure that out. But go ahead, my brother. It's Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. 
They say, see now that I, even I, mm -hmm. am he, mm -hmm. and there is no power with me. So the most high t telling you, so it'll be no damn confusion. <laughs> right. You know, the most high say, ain't no damn power with me. Man, I am the power. That's right. All right. I am he. You know what I'm saying? I am all. You know what I'm saying? He exists, man. All right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? He everywhere, man. Okay. And, Go ahead, my brother. And Moses wasn't talking to more than one individual. Right. That's he was right. Talking to one. Right. That's right. That's uh, right. It says. Back in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39 says, I kill mm -hmm. and I make Hold alive. on, so the most I say he kill, man. And he make alive at the end of the day, man. That's why people don't fear you how about shooting how shot, man. That's why people can just sit up there, you know what I'm saying, when we bringing out the scriptures and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Jake can just go ahead and just be vicariously, just walk past, like, you know what I'm saying, like, like, like we not even here. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, we tell them the scriptures, you know, we bring the scriptures out. Jake can tell you, oh man, they ain't. No, no, brother, you lying, brother. You know, <laughs> you're lying, brother. Ain't the God I know, brother. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, brother, you you, you singing the doctrine of Satan there, brother. You preaching hate, brother. You preaching hate, brother. Like, we, we bring it right out of the scripture. And hey, you can read along right there with yep. us, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We call the scripture out. Right. We call it we call it from what book we read it and from what verse. And you can follow us, man. All right, you know? Go ahead, bro. But see, but see, two thirds of our people were blinded at the end of the day, man. All right, they were blinded, man. All right. Go ahead, bro. I kill and I make a lie. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Speak on it, bro. Speak on it. See, the thing is, just like what Bishop Hakai said, that ain't the God I know. And you absolutely <laughs> right, because you don't know your yeah, you Hashem Hashem. Because the God of the Bible, guess what? He kill and make a lie. Right. Mm -hmm. Hell, it, it way more killing and on terrorizing, which come from the Lord in the scripture, then all love and having fun, no happy day. That's right. Because the only right. piece I remember was those 40 years of King Solomon. Right, and, right. and then the infinite forever peace that's gonna come when it when on when you how shy, like y'all like to say, crack them on clouds. Right? That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. right. That's right. right. So that's the only piece. Other than that, it's always been war, 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 war. Yeah, then we're gonna speak on war, cause, cause that's what happened. And, and then, then it's gonna get even more worse. Hey, brother, I got a precept. I got a precept for you. Hey, Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. Uh -huh. So called Negroes, so called Latinos, so called Native Americans. Because salvation is ultimately for the nation of Israel. That's man. right. All right, but we know it's only gonna be for the elect on this side right here, two thirds. Hey, man, they're gonna be destroyed at the end of the day. Yeah, how about your mouth shot? Only kept a remnant to himself at the end of the day. Going back, Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish, yeah, because that second death, that destruction, all right, you know what I'm saying, that, uh, you know what I'm saying, that lake of fire, all right, courtesy of World War Three, that's coming from nuclear missiles, which your Habashi Mao Shah spirit gonna be on every single that's missile, right. man. All right, and Most High is consuming fire himself, man. So Most High gonna be, and Most High gonna be in that fire, man. You know what I'm saying? That fire wasn't meant for for Israel, but since two thirds of our people would not come back to Yahweh Shemal Shah, they're gonna be destroyed along with the heathen. Man. All right, on this side, you know, everybody coming back in reincarnation. Edomites, you damn Hamites, you damn Sodomites, <laughs> all of you, man. You know what I'm saying? That be destroyed on this side, the nuclear fire. Israel gonna come back in the kingdom. All right, and they're they gonna be righteous when they come back in the kingdom. They're gonna be in their right frame of mind, man. They're gonna feel bad. Two thirds of Israel, when they come back in the kingdom, they're gonna feel bad because they forsaken Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Yep. But you heathens, y'all gonna come back in the kingdom as well, too. They're gonna get destroyed. You Edomites, they're gonna get destroyed over here in America, Babylon. You heathens, y'all, y'all gonna come back in the kingdom and you're gonna wake up and your ass going into fucking slavery, man. Hey, we're we gonna get that, too, man. That's right. All right, we're gonna get that, too, man. All right. Okay. Uh, who was holding? Uh, I'm, I'm holding. I got a quick precept. Go ahead. Go ahead, back. Go ahead, go ahead. And uh, uh, this is Isaiah 45 and 7. Man. Oh, shalla, 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 shalla. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I was reading. I was reading. Oh, yeah, yeah you was reading. Uh, Jeremiah, yeah, 4 and 22. Yeah, Jeremiah 4 and 22. My bad. It's shalla. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadist children. Yeah, they, they're extremely stupid, extremely man. Stupid, because you can sit there and you can break it down line upon line. You can go into the entomology of the word. Jake never ever heard the word and heard his Bible being taught like it's been taught by the men of the Lord, some of the elders apostles on down to us. You know what I'm saying? But yet, Jake still don't don't consider. Yet, Jake still a buck. Jake still a goddamn beginning. Saying Jake always got a problem with something, man. You know, they always try to, you know, you, you had a Pharisee, they always try to come and try to trap up the Lord, man. You have a shot, man. You know what I'm saying, you know? You know, the, the, the apostles, man, the disciples, man. So, hey, 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 out of right, we those men, we the prophets coming back. So how much more today, man? All right, you know? Man, thank. 
to also say is that when the men of the Lord speak about plagues coming, mm -hmm. Israel say no damn plague. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, Esau speak about the crime warrior 19. It's mm -hmm. a virus, everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Put your mask on, brother. Yeah. Got to get a booster shot, brother. You got, you, got, you got to take the jump shot, brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to do it for humanity, brother. It's not about you, brother. It's not about you. You got to think about everybody else, man. You know? <laughs> Jeremiah 4 and 22, man. And you follow up Esau. Esau don't give a damn. You think Esau cared when he was uh, dropping those damn bombs when he was shooting nope. man? You nope. know what I'm saying? On Japan, do, 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 you know, do you got to care about the people there, man? Nope. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> Come on, man. He was carrying your ass into slavery and them cargo slave ships. You think he was caring about your ass there, nope. man? You know? Come on, man. You know? You think well, over there with Afghanistan over there? You know? Uh, who Hussein? You know what I'm saying? You know? Um, man, come on, man. The list goes on, man. I'm going to read this description. The list goes on. You know, Esau got a long laundry list. Boy. Long rap. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are silent children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. Yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Even you got dudes in Israel, man, under circumcision that's supposed to know better. These dudes, they, 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 they're a bigger nigga than a regular nigga that, that's not in the truth, man. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? A regular nigga that's rapping and doing all types of nigga shit, you can expect him to do that because he, he don't know no damn better. Ultimately, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai ain't dealing with a two-third in there of the world. But a two-third that know he an Israelite, you know what I'm saying? It's even it, it, it's even worse for you because, you know, you know, like the like stand in the uh, world, man. You know, if you if you know you do better, I mean, you know better, you do, do better. better yeah. If you know better, you do better, man. You got you got other two thirds slow bellies out there, Jake. They don't know better, man. So you see why they do what they do, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you do the circumcision. Hey, man, you you a big and you 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 the worst kind of nigga, man. At the end of the day or whatnot, you supposed to know better, man. All right, you know. But like I say, you're quick to do evil, man. You're quick to do everything. How about you, much I tell you not to do, man? Right. You know, a nigga take a, a damn five hundred one c three charter and won't teach certain scriptures. He won't teach hundred percent truth. Cause he wanna get he wanna get some dividend, he wanna get yeah. some damn money. He think he's just good. At least I am telling him he is, bro. I am doing that. I ain't gotta teach you the name and all that. Come on, man. I gotta be all that technical or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? The Lord knew my heart, man, you know what I'm saying, you know? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You and like I say, you have no understanding and you're quick to do evil. Cause right. you will go ahead and you you wanna service your own stomach. Yep. Man. That's what these niggas care about. They care about themselves at the end of the yep. day. They don't care about the brotherhood. They don't care about their flock, because you care about your flock, you be out there pushing the word, pushing the truth, yeah. and then you be pushing 100% truth. Because you know, if you push your lies out there, and you got people that's following you in your congregation, but you know, you can lead them to destruction. If you're telling your people, take the jump shot, or take the MOTB, and if they take it, you're going against the scriptures. Yeah. The scriptures say otherwise. Revelation 13 and 16 say otherwise, man. Revelation 13, 16 and 17 say otherwise. Yeah. The judgment, if you take the MOTB, Revelation 14, 9, yeah. hey, it says otherwise, man. You got to warn the people not to trust in the Egypt, man. And then you have to build it faith up, and your Yahweh Shemiah was shot. You know what I'm saying, you know? And the most high is it, gonna make a way for the elect to escape out of these plans that Yahweh Shema Shah be sending, man. You're supposed to be building, you're supposed to be Jake getting Jake get, get, get them getting spiritually prepared, man. You know what I'm saying, you know? H had a spiritual, you know what I'm saying, the spiritual uh breath, breastplate, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know your spiritual armor, man. You know? Thanks, Go ahead, brother. This, Go ahead. this Isaiah chapter 56, so verse 10. And it says, his watchmen are blind. He said his watchmen are blind, man. Cause here it is, you know what I'm saying? What what, what do the prophets supposed to be prophesying on? Give me Jeremiah 28 and 8, man. Oh, yeah. What the real men of the Lord is supposed to be prophesying on? What are they supposed to be giving warning on, man? All right, because it's not the kingdom right here, man. All right, you know, you got the wicked that's freaking ruling, man. It's, it's gonna tell you when the wicked ruler, the, the whole earth mourning when the yeah. wicked ruler, man. You, you ain't got nothing but, you got the spirit of war. If you got the spirit of war that's going on that's out here, you know what I'm saying? How can the righteous be ruling then, man? If the righteous is ruling, there ain't gonna be no war. The scripture said when when the true children of Israel be back in the land of Israel, it will be no more study of war, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna break all the all all, all the wars, uh, you know what I'm saying, all the weaponry of wars and shit gonna be destroyed, man. There'll be no nuclear missiles and shit, bro. We're gonna destroy all the weapons, man. All right? Everything gonna go back to agriculture at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, go ahead, my brother. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and 8. All right, it says the prophets that have been before me mm -hmm. and before thee of old mm -hmm. prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms. Against great kingdoms, man. It's Babylon, man. AK America, man, which is about to be freaking destroyed, man. Because the aid America is on its last leg, man. All right, its last leg of Rome right here, man. All right, you know, this beast is about to go down, man. All right. 
So you know what I'm saying? People can laugh, smile, or whatnot. But when the most high brain he plays, see if your ass be laughing dead, man. Okay. All right? See if your ass getting carted off in them goddamn concentration camps, see if you be laughing dead, man. But most high send that family, which is inedible, all right? It's, it's right around the corner, see if you be laughing dead, man. Most high send these damn troops out here, see if you be laughing dead. But when, 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 when most high have these damn niggas rambling in your damn houses and shit because of the lack of bread, Going back, what, the second edge is what, 15 and 19? Hey, see if you damn niggas be laughing dead, man. Nigga, be no damn laughing matter, man. Got it. All right, go ahead, bro. Finishing it off, and, and, and as we are reading the scripture in Jeremiah 28 and 8, you got to keep in mind that it's giving a, a, a description of how to identify the prophets when you see them, man. That's right, bro. Because the scripture said the prophets are old, and, and the prophets of the day are going to be prophesying against. Mm -hmm. So if you got a, if you got a so-called prophet that's prophesying being with this place, then guess what? That's not a prophet of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Because true prophets, uh, uh, as the scripture is saying, hey, are going to be prophesying against the downfall of this place, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and also, too, a, a real prophet of the Lord, they ain't about to be broadcasting and talking about they gonna have a goddamn cookout and shit, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Just... Or have a have a, a, a post a Passover party and shit, man. And shit. Got flies <laughs> like that show you, man. You know these guys, man. They don't take this truth serious, man. Okay. And like, hey, like those possible say, man. Hey, man, you niggas ain't gonna start taking it serious to you. How about you start? You how about you shot? Stop dropping you niggas. Most yep. I start dropping you niggas. See. You niggas ain't take heed when the Most High took comfy ass up, man. You niggas, you niggas, they ain't, they ain't bought no fear. You know what I'm saying? They ain't bought no fear when the Most High took out rap the news and shit, man. They ain't bought no fear you, man. The Most High started taking out a lot of your damn members and shit, taking out some of your damn family or whatever, all right? They send a message to you and whatnot. Then you guys gonna right. get the goddamn message, man. Right. You gonna know you how about Shema is a power that you that, that that's not to be effed with at the end of the day, bro. Got you niggas gonna learn it the hard way. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Finishing it off, Jeremiah 28 and 8, it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Kind, man. You know what I'm saying? They didn't prophesy any good things, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? Of war. What we what we prophesied? World War Three, right? That's right. right. Go, go, go read those plagues again, bro. What they were prophesying about now? They were prophesying against great kingdoms a war? Hey, 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 start when the elders apostles on down. And we prophesying no war? Yep. And we get, and keeping y'all updated on with Russia, Ukraine. Yep. But we tell y'all, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, World War Three ain't gonna pop off yet because the mark of the beast, the MOTB, ain't on the scene. Your yep. prophecy had to fulfill first. Yep. Then, before the war take off, hey, they, they gotta be a draft, man. They gotta implement a draft, man. You damn niggas ain't in no damn patriotic spirit, bro. You niggas ain't running up there to the, you know what I'm saying, the ROTC, the Army, the Army recruits. <laughs> niggas ain't no long line right. to be recruiting right. uh, to the service and shit, man. Right. Like, like back in the damn days and shit right. or whatever, man. You know, because the people don't believe in the fucking government no more. You even got motherfuckers in Ukraine, they ain't trying to go to no motherfucking war. They ain't trying to war and shit. You know, they want peace and shit, bro. You know? So you damn, you know these niggas ain't trying to, you, you soft ass niggas ain't trying to get on war and shit, bro. If you, the only person you want to war with is your damn self. Exactly. Bro. That's it, bro. Exactly. Go ahead, all right? And now uh, it says of war, of mm. evil. It says of evil, man, bad times. Yep. What we also um, prophesied on, Jacob's trouble, man. That's right. Prophesied, that, 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 that sound like the prophet, that sound like great men don't seem like the men that's, that, that, that's filling up this uh, scripture, this category. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Look like, look like this scripture here talking about great millstone right here. And every other man that come in the same spirit, a great millstone. So that was possible on down, man. You know, and what, what else? And of pestilence. And of pestilence, man. All right, did we tell you about disease warfare, what you saw us doing, all right? right. With, the, with, 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 with the jump shot, just to name one of many, man. Right. All right, that's just the latest right there, yep. man. Okay, all right. You know, so that's what the prophets will be giving. Man. At the end of the day. Let me get this before I get back in Isaiah. Go ahead, this bro. is uh, Revelation chapter 9, verse 12, and it says, One woe is past. Mm. It and says, One woe is past, all right? And that woe means destruction, man. Yeah. All right? And that's talking about World War I, man. Yeah. Right? You know? Because what, happen what happens at a war, man? Nothing but destruction, man. If, if you know what I'm saying, if uh, everything kick off now and they start sending off them damn nukes, what's going to happen, man, when a nuke hit America? A nuke hit down Russia, a nuke hit Africa or whatnot, man. You know, continent of Africa. The motherland, so-called motherland, that bullshit. Right. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what's gonna happen, man? Ain't gonna be nothing but fucking destruction, man. All right, ain't gonna be nothing but goddamn total destruction, man. All right, that's why I said, what? Whoa, one war has come, two war, you know what I'm saying? The second war has come past, you know what I'm saying? You know, man, because at war, what happens at war? Destruction, man. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, bro. It said back in Revelation chapter 9, verse 12, one war is past, and behold, there come two woes more after. Yeah, two more woes, man. Wait, World War Three. Like World War II, 
than World War Three, man. All right, War of Armageddon, man. The war, the world, the uh, war that gonna end all wars right there. Courtesy of Yahweh Shem man. That's right. Yahweh Shem Shah gonna bring all the troops together, man. All right, all the troops coming together, man. All right, for his judgment. Ultimately, Yahweh Shem Shah. All right, he's gonna judge all these damn nations, bro. All right, you know. Go ahead, bro. I wanna get this one before I get back in Isaiah. You got this it. This Revelation chapter eleven verse fourteen. The second woe is past, mm -hmm. and behold, the third woe hey, coming look. quickly. And hey, that's future prophecy, man. Yep. All right, and we living, and we fulfilling, we fulfilling that prophecy now, man. We coming into that time, bro. The time is right here around the corner, man. That's why, like I said, man, you know, Jake, they ain't measuring the time, man. Jake nope. don't know what the hell is going on, man, with prophecy, man. All right, give me that in Second Ezra 9 and 1, bro. All right, then we go, like I say, we ain't forgot about that Ezekiel 37. Yeah. We, can get, we can get back to Ezekiel 37, all right, but... This is the book of uh, Second Edris, chapter nine and one, because they, as Bishop quoted and as, as the scriptures quoted, man, this is what Jake is not doing, man. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Second Edris, chapter nine, verse one. It says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself." And you only can measure thou the time diligently in itself, man, if you're on your watch, man. That's right. All right, and then the scriptures say, "Measure the time diligently,", diligently. man. So you got to constantly be on your watch, man. Ain't no time. Ain't no, ain't, you ain't no, ain't no days off, man. You ain't taking no damn time off, man. You know what I'm saying? No brothers up here talking about, yeah, man, you know, next month, man, I go on vacation, brother. You know, I be camp, camping with y'all brothers about two months, brother, going on two months vacation, brother. Man, there ain't the spirit of great millstone around here, man. All right, and there ain't no spirit of man or Lord or prophet or Yahweh by Shemel Shah gonna never have no words come out of his mouth, man. How the fuck, you know what I'm saying? You want to take time off and you in slavery, you in captivity, man. We in fucking hell, man. When, 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 when can you forget that you ain't cap that you still exactly. captives, man? We still POW, we still prisoners of war here, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? We, we looking to be delivered, man. We looking to get the fuck up out of here, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Who the hell, like, 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 like who the hell love paying bills, bro? Who the hell love paying taxes, bro? Being oppressed, bro. Who the hell love being oppressed and knowing you been oppressed, man? Right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Then this devil don't pay you with no real money, because real money, you know what I'm saying, is gold or silver, man. All right? You know, a cattle. You know, a slaves, man. You know what I'm saying? A tangible, physical, tangible thing that you can sell, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's real money. At the end of the day, real value. At the end of the day, this devil been up to the gold and a silver standard from the dollar bill, man. Then if you ask the Jake, what does the word dollar mean? They couldn't tell you that, man. Yeah, at all. They can't tell you that, but yet they can take pictures and take photos and they can take pictures of the money on them and all that madness right. and whatnot, man. All right, not knowing that money ain't worth shit, bro. Exactly. At the end of the goddamn day, because they're not backed by nothing, man. It's an I owe you. <laughs> right. I owe you literally, bro. All right, go ahead. Huh? Hey, uh, Second Edges chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before." Verse two. Then shalt thou understand. Hey, so 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 when we see those when we see those signs, right? Isn't that going back to Jeremiah 28 and 8, bro? Yep, yep. And I'm yep. looking back over Jeremiah yep. 28 and 8. Yep. What the prophet's going to be prophesying on. Yep. It ain't no good times, bro. Yeah. The people quit to say, that's a good book. That's a good book. Yeah. Man, this is a book of woes right <laughs> yeah. here, man. Yeah. Anybody saying that's a good book, you know what I'm saying? They don't truly, fully understand the scriptures, bro. They don't understand the Bible, man. They don't know what come along with the scriptures, bro. They don't have no understanding at all. Bro. At all, bro. You know? Go ahead, bro. First, uh, second Edges 9 and 2. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest uh -huh. will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, man. And that's what we're supposed to be giving that warning, warning that's the right. people, man. Warning, warning Israel, all right? You know, specifically, warning Israel. Did not, how about your mouth shall say, I'd rather ye what go to what? The lost sheep of the house of Israel, all right? And that's what we're supposed to be going, these so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans. That's, that's who we... Thing right here, got that damn wing strong, yeah, baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kicking like Bruce Lee, man, up out here. Yeah. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm supposed to give that warning, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. The true children of Israel, man. All right, Israel waking back up. This is what's shaking up the earth, man. Shaking up Esau. Esau losing sleep, man. Yeah. All right, you coming back to your heritage, your nationality. It is all through the power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. You know, let you know that, hey, man, this place is a wrap, man. That's right. All right? The gig is up, Esau. That's right. The gig is up, man. Hey, now, when we read Jeremiah 28 later, it said the prophet's going to be prophesying against it. So, and, and as we read Second Edris, as it links up perfectly, when the Lord comes back to visit the earth which he made, 
right. you think the Lord is coming back? Because he said the prophet's going to be giving you that warning about the evil times, right. meaning that, that this is a time that you're supposed to be preparing yourself to get right. Mm -hmm. So when the Lord comes back to visit the place that he made, you think the Lord's going to be pleased with what he sees? Or you think the Lord's going to be like, oh, yeah, this is this is beautiful, just the way I let the Sodomites, he's a her, hers a he. The Lord is not going to be pleased when he comes back, man. Okay, can I read the precept for you? You got it, bro. You got it. Isaiah 66, verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Yahweh, plead with all flesh. And that plea don't mean hey, begging. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Hey, don't mean the Lord will be like, keep sweat begging you. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean, yeah. on one knee, like boys to <laughs> men, begging you. No, no, no. The Lord, hey, 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 this is, hey, the Lord, this is the plea right here, man. Yep. The prophets out here, hey, giving you that warning to get right. Uh -huh. Because when you, how about Shem al Shai return to the sea, as the scriptures tell you in Matthew, roughly paraphrasing, if a brother want to get that, Matthew 10 and 34, hey, when you, how Shai pulls up on the scene, man, it ain't gonna be time for no talking, man. That's right. The Lord ain't, 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 ain't coming back to do no talking. How is the Lord speaking right now, man? He's speaking through the prophets, man, beginning with our apostles and our elders, man. That's right. All right, so it ain't gonna be no such thing as, Oh Lord, I did not know, Lord. Right. Oh Lord, get, can, can I get another little second, Lord? Can I get another second? No, the time is now, man. That's right. It's now. That's right, brother. It's Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to sin peace. Think, Think not. not. Yeah, how wish I start off straight like that, man? Mm -hmm. Think not, man. Mm -hmm. So what the hell are these people in the church talking about? God loves everybody. Right, it's going right. to be peace and harmony. And oh, I can't wait to, oh, I can't wait for the day of the Lord. That's why the scripture say, what are you mad inside right. the day of the Lord? Because y'all don't know what the day of the Lord really going to hold. As Brother Shaw said, these people say they are, they don't even know the Lord. Man, you don't know the Lord. How about Shemal Shai, man? Hey, going back to Jeremiah 4 and 22. Yeah, y'all about Shemal Shai say they have my children, they, they have not known me. You no know, wicked ass niggas have not known me, man. That's why most I say they're Sodom's children. Yeah. Man. It's extremely Trillish. fucking stupid. Because you have Shima Shah giving the truth right in front of their face, man. Oh, man. Right? But they're too stupid to see it, man. All right, go ahead, bro. It's, it says, I came not to send peace, mm. but a sword. Mm. Hey. So that's a cut, man. Literally. That's a straight cut right there, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're talking about the Lord, love, Jesus, love everybody. First of all, the name ain't Jesus. The name is Yahweh right. Shah, bro. That's right. All right, you know what I'm saying? So let's get that straight start, for starters. Secondly, the Lord said he ain't come to bring peace, man. He come to bring a sword. Why did why did Yahweh Shah had a reference to say that, man? Because he, he the Lord tell you many false prophets shall arise, man. Yeah. All these false prophets gonna be saying, Lord is Lord, the Lord is Lord. You ain't think Yahweh Shah Shah knew he saw gonna be up here having these damn lies and having yep. I goddamn people, you know what I'm saying, in the goddamn fucking trance and shit on this damn Jesus juice and shit, thinking the Lord love every damn body. That's why they don't have a fear of Yahweh Shah Yahweh Shah. Because with religion, when it comes to religion, Come, you know, so we come with Christianity, you know what I'm saying, or, or Roman Catholicism, there's no accountability at, at the end all, of the day. Bro. You know, the church will tell you the Bible is done away, I mean, they'll, they'll tell you the law is done away with. So if the law is done away with, that means, you know what I'm saying, you know, that's why that's why they say you can come as you are. Right. You can't judge nobody. You can't judge nobody, this and that. You know, in, in essence, you can do as thou will. You don't have to be held accountable. You know what I'm saying, you know? Go ahead, bro. Well, hell, they act like the Bible done the way we, how the way they be acting. Exactly, teaching exactly, anyway. exactly, exactly. But then, you know what I say? He ain't come to destroy the law. Yeah, the nigga, you know, a Pope, Pastor Pope Chop, he'll tell you the law done away with, but yet he's still going to collect his tithes, though. Where do you find, where, where, where you find tithes at? In the law, man. Right. All right? But yet, like I said, they like to pick and they like to goddamn choose, man. All right? That's why, hey, they're going to be destroyed, man. All right, and you still caught up in them damn churches, man. And your ass gonna be destroyed as well, too, man. Cause you are, you should, you should know by now, man. Them churches know but Harley houses, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't learned nothing in them goddamn churches, man. Y'all, the church ain't bring you no closer. How about your mouth shot, man? You know what I'm saying? How can you, how, how can you deal with real life experience in the spirit? You know what I'm saying? How did the church prepare you for what's about to come? The problem is the church don't prepare you, period, bro. So, you, so it's a wrap for you, man. You ain't got no shot. <laughs> Go ahead, they, they, they prepare you to uh, uh, the church. Uh, hey, Shalot, the money. church, the church, the church ain't even a safe haven for you At niggas all, no damn more, man. You niggas getting gunned down and killing the churches and shit, man. And them niggas up there in fucking Charleston, all right? Let a goddamn fucking devil ride in their congregation. Let, let you might ride in the congregation, man. Hey, what he did, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? And he let he, he, let, he let that thing ring on all their ass, man. <laughs> let that thing ring on all their ass, man. Yeah, and then when the Esau, when then when the Edomite cops. Pick his ass up. They ain't shoot him, man. You know what I'm saying? They got they, they took him alive, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know? Cause if you damn niggas, you if the cop pull you over for a broken headlight, your, your ass liable to get shot, man. All right? right. But with him, you know, with Edomite, all right, Dylan Roof, what happened? They pick his ass up after he done killed 
He done, he done, he done, he done massacred. Damn old ass Jake up there in that goddamn church, man. Big mama with the big ass hat. Blew the big, blew the big hat off mama head. Blew, blew the top back. <laughs> blow, blow the top back, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying, you know? And then what the cops did to damn Dylan Roof, man. Yep. How, how they rewarded him, man. They took him to Burger King, man. He had it and way. he had it his way, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he get a big double whopper with oh, fries and, and chicken nuggets, man. Right. You know, yeah, we're gonna say we're gonna make fun like that, man. Cause you damn that's niggas true, so though. fucking simple, man. You niggas should never let no damn dealing roof in your goddamn congregation anyway. But that's what Christianity breeds exactly. you, man. Christianity just pretty much make you a fucking victim, man. You know, love your oppressor. Esau can kick us in our ass and you know, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we can uh, you know what I'm saying, we can Whole hands in the kingdom, we all be one people in the kingdom, man. Everything be all forgive. Just right. forgive, forgive. But Esau don't Esau don't forgive shit, bro. Esau tell you remember what? 9-11, eh? Right. You know? <laughs> but yeah, they show you they show you the hypocrite is devil. It, you know, he you can remember all everybody history can be remembered. I, I, I can have a memorial, but your history, man. As soon as Jake bring up slavery, it's a problem, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. How are you ever gonna get past that, man? You know, how are we gonna evolve, man? We still in the past, man. <laughs> you have to forget the past and we gotta move forward, man. Come on, man, that bullshit. Go ahead, man. It's uh, Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10. His watchmen are blind. Mm -hmm. They are all ignorant. Yeah, man, his watchmen are blind, man. Why? Because your watchmen supposed to be goddamn watching, man. That's why the fuck they blind, because they ain't saying nothing. They ain't right. speaking, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ain't dumb as in, it, 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 if you ask them, what two plus two? Jello, <laughs> they ain't dumb like that. They dumb as in the form they can't fucking speak, man. Yeah. All right, they're not speaking, they're not prophesying, man. What do a dog supposed to do? That's why the most high compared to a dog, you know, the watches to a dog, because a watch is supposed to give warning, man. Whenever there's a, 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 a imminent threat, a potential threat of somebody's lurking or somebody's coming, that dog gives that warning, man, to the, to the owner, man, of the house, the master of the house, man. You let them know, hey, somebody, something coming close, man. You know, for that preparation to prepare, man. What good is that damn dog if somebody just walk up in the damn house and kick in the damn door, the dog just looking at him and shit? Right. And hear the dog and give no damn warning. You up there watching ESPN highlights and right. shit. Somebody, right. somebody come in the house like fucking Rambo and shit or whatnot. Dog ain't, ain't bought no night. Right. It ain't give you time to run to get nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's let see who out there. What's going on? What the dog barking at? You know? Come child. on, man. Before you finish that off, prime mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. That movie, um, it was like next, uh, Friday after next, I think, or next Friday, when they had the little dog Chico, mm -hmm. and what, what, they, what they was breaking into the house, and they gave the goddamn dog, they gave the goddamn dog some baloney, because all before the <laughs> yeah. dog was uh, barking, 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 getting that uh, ice cube and whoever, mm -hmm. but when they when they started giving the dog baloney, the dog wasn't even on his goddamn watch no more, man. Mm -hmm. Now he eating baloney with the goddamn uh, with the little white boy in the movie, mm -hmm. and they broke into the damn house and shit, man. <laughs> yeah, so, I remember that. I remember yeah, that, man. Yeah, I remember that. Got that gift though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, back in Isaiah chapter fifty-six, verse ten, it says, "His watchmen are blind; they are all ignorant; mm -hmm. they yeah. are all dumb dogs." Yeah, dumb dogs, man. Cause you see, cause you got certain blind watchmen out there, dumb dogs out there. They'll tell their congregation. Hey, brother, you can take the jump shot, brother, because you got to work, brother. Take the jump shot, brother, because you got to work, brother. Hey, brother, you want to, brother, if you, if you want to um, go, you know what I'm saying, you want to go overseas or, or go to, or you want to travel another country or whatnot, you got to take shots, brother. You know, you got to take different, you know what I'm saying, scenes and shit like that. You got to take different jump shots and shit, brother. That's okay. Or, hey, when MOTB come on the scene, well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Are we going to trust in the Lord or, or what are we going to do? Man, we going to, the Lord gave us common sense, man. You gonna take the MOTB? How you gonna eat and how you gonna sell, man? You know what I'm saying? How you, how you gonna get your paycheck, man? You know you gotta take the MOTB to survive, man. You know, hey, those are blind dogs, a blind dog, a dumbass, stupid ass dog gonna tell you something like that, man. All right, that's a false prophet right there, man. The Lord gonna tell you to trust in Yahweh Shemal Shah. No, we ain't trusting no fucking Egypt, man. If the Most High told us not to take some, you don't think the Most High made. Uh, provisions for us, you know what I'm saying? Most high, done, 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 you know, most high tell you, don't take the chip, but the most high, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't make a way, way he gonna deliver you. He ain't made a way, way, you know what I'm saying? He can send you food. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Too hot, you know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, the most high, he ain't powerful enough where he can't, he can't send you food or drink, right. uh, 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 shelter. All right, most high can't make a way for you, man. You know? Can't, can't doubt you. How about you, Mahal Rashad, bro? Can't put the most high in a bottle right. at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, right. you know? Go ahead, bro. I look at the definition right quick before you finish on but for that word dumb. Mm -hmm. And Spirit had you said it, said it man. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, Strong's H4483. And the word dumb goes in in that uh, scripture, Isaiah 56 and 10. 
reference to the dumb dogs, it says mute, silent, unable to speak, mm. speechless, man. Mm. And that's these guys, man. That's these, these 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 false prophets out here, man. These these dumbass dogs, man. But you you got it, bro. Dude, that's how um Captain Tazaria was when that dude had on full stand crescent. Mm -hmm. He was like, mute. <laughs> yeah, he was mute. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't, I mean, I mean, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Really, he got confounded. Yeah, man. exactly. He was confounded, man. You know what I'm saying? He was stupid as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? And see, he was winging it, and he know he know he know who we know that he know he was winging it. <laughs> hey, man. You know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> Dude was stuttering and shit, man. Come on, man. You uh -huh, know, uh -huh, uh -huh. If you can't see that. If you can't see that, man, then hey, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that brother just let you know, man. You, you, you in bad shape, bro. You can't see that dude's a false prophet. Most I ain't dealing with him unless he repent, man. Unless he repent, you know, and, get, and start singing the song right. Yeah. You know. Go ahead, bro. Back in Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10, it says, "They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Mm -hmm. Sleeping, mm -hmm. lying down." Mm -hmm. Loving to slumber. Loving to slumber, man. Love bullshit, man. You know, love cooking out and shit, man. They love doing shit of the world, man, right. instead of pushing the truth, man. Right. They want to make the want to make the truth, you know what I'm saying, want to want to popularize it, want to make it a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much, man, want to make it where you have a lot of people draw a lot of people in, you know what I'm saying, to make a name or to get bread to get money, man. The more people you got, what, more revenue that's coming in, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, them niggas probably got some of their channels uh, monetized and whatnot, man. All right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know? Go ahead, bro. Uh, verse 11. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 11. It says, yeah, they are greedy dogs. Yeah, the scripture say they're greedy, greedy dogs, bro. man. Why they're greedy dogs? Hey, uh, give me that highlight, man. Give me that uh, prophecy of the highlight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're greedy dogs because they're all about their money, man. You know what I'm saying? The nigga, he, he more worried about... You know what I'm saying? That what color Rolls Royce I want to get? What color Benz I want to get, man? I want to get me a uh, what what nice shop top I want to get? I want to get me a nice Tesla, brother. Get that top top of line Tesla, brother. I know they're gonna get them, man. They're gonna have the they're gonna have the holes on me, then, man. They're gonna have the holes on me, man. That's what they thinking about, man. They ain't thinking about they ain't thinking about the state of their flock, man. They ain't thinking about pushing the words of your how about shooting how was shot, man. They, they they ain't truly they ain't, they don't truly believe, man. Cause they truly believe they'll be fighting for their crown of life, man. You you know. By you being a false prophet, you will know that hey, you gonna have your day with your Yahweh Shema with Shah, bro. It ain't gonna be no fucking good day neither, man. Okay. All right, Yahweh Shema Shah, I tell you the day of the Lord, man. Hey, it ain't, it ain't, hey, it ain't gonna be no nice day, but it gonna be no, no sunny sir. day, man. No, oh, sir. sunny day, ain't no fucking sunny day, bro. <laughs> right. You know, go ahead, huh? With birds are turping and all that shit, bro. Nah, man. Right. Go ahead, huh? Uh, that when the bishop called for about the hirelings. Mm -hmm. All right, this is uh John chapter ten. I'm gonna start at verse. Um, before before you say before you read it, hey, read a part where they greet the dog. Read that part of this read dog. This Isaiah chapter 56. Uh oh. This book of Isaiah chapter 56 verse 11 it says, "Yeah, they are greedy dogs." Yeah, they greedy dogs, man. You know, a greedy dog will do any damn thing. Man. Right. A greedy dog ain't loyal. All right. A greedy dog is. Man, you pretty much man, you a fucking prostitute, man. Whatever Esau pay you to do, that what the fuck you gonna do? Esau tell you to teach teach on the name. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh, you gonna tell your name Yahweh. You know? Esau tell you to bro. say Christ, you gonna say fucking Christ, man. You know, Esau tell you to teach the Lord I love everybody and anybody except the Lord can make it. That what the fuck you gonna teach, man. Alright? You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't so you don't so pretty much you don't sold your soul to Esau, man. You don't sold out, man. Yep. Alright? You know what I'm saying? That would greed, that would agreed, did you at greed turn you to a hoe, man? <laughs> you you a hoe for Esau, man. Yep. Alright? You know, you a slave for Esau, bro. Hey man, the men of the Lord, hey, like Paul say, we prisoners of your how about you shot, man. All right. If you're a prisoner, a prisoner can't do what the fuck you want to do, man. A prisoner is in full subjection upon his master, man. I master you how about you how shot, man. All right. But you damn niggas in the world, you made a pact with fucking Esau, Satan, man. All right. So that's where your alliance at, man. All right. That, that that's where you that's the way you pledge your allegiance yep. to fucking yep. Esau, man. So you gonna tell you so so long as Esau uh signing your damn check and that check it, 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 that money in the bank, and you gonna do what the fuck Esau tell you to fucking exactly. do? You gonna keep on teaching that, man. All right, teaching that that madness, man. You gonna be added to the scriptures and taken away from the scriptures, man. All right, go ahead, bro. All right, this is the uh, the parable about the hirelings. Uh -huh. John chapter ten. We start at verse uh, eleven. And they look what Yahweh Shai says. He says, "I am the good shepherd. Mm -hmm. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep." Yeah, man. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep, man. All right. right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, one for Yahweh Shai. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we be fucked, bro. Yeah. One for Yahweh Shai, cause Yahweh Shai was the only way we could make it back to the Most High, man. Yahweh, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah is a mediator, man. Who you niggas don't want to give reference to. You know what I'm saying? You know, yes, Yahweh Shah is a spirit 
in the power that he's supposed to be worshiping. He's going to be worshiped at the That's end right. of the day. That's right. Those that ain't going don't want to worship Yahweh Shah, hey man, they're going to be put to death, man. That's right. right. Hey, give me that scripture where Yahweh Shah said, nah, those that know. Nah, 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 know that scripture start off with Yahweh Shah said, he's a good shepherd. Mm -hmm. And he said, and we already know that's Yahweh Shah because what? He gave his life. For, for the sheep, man. and 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 that's the mindset, and that's what that, and that's what the prophet, that's what every man that come in the name of Yahweh Shema was shot, and that's the spirit he gonna be in at the right. end of the day, man. All right, right? We, hey, that, hey, that that's what it means by uh, putting your body as a living sacrifice. That's right. Man. We gonna state the truth, man. Regardless, man, whether it's life or death, man. Nobody can threaten us. You know what I'm saying to keep us from pushing the word, pushing the truth. Hey, y'all keep on pushing the name. How about you? I was shot. Hey, man, I'm gonna, hey, man, I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna pull up on y'all. Hey, fucking pull up, then, nigga. Yeah. Pull up and take a seat, man. All right, yeah, go ahead, bro. It's a uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 27. Mm -hmm. But those mine enemies, mm -hmm. which were not that I should reign over. Yeah, two third niggas that got a problem with Yahweh shot, man. Yeah. All right, at the end of the day, hey man, y'all, hey y'all, about you? I was shot. Coming that same spirit, get down and lay down, man. Right. What's I ain't asking no question. The Most High. Ain't dealing with no democracy. Democracy wicked as all hell any fucking way, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't vote. Shit, hey, you know what the Lord said this, but hey, let's take a vote on this right here, though. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't know what the Lord say, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shmuel Shah, he's the ultimate dictatorship, bro. All right, most I tell you to do something, that what the fuck you tell, that what he, what he mean for you to do, man. If not, you have to get put to death, man. Get down or lay down, man. That's the most high right there, man. Most high ain't, ain't begging with your ass. Most high ain't negotiating with your fucking ass and shit, man. All right? What's I gonna put your dumb ass to death, man? All right, if you don't do what he commanded you to do. And you can't say you ain't know what to do, because the most high sent his prophets out there to give you instructions, man. All right, most high said you only can serve, you only can worship Yahweh Shema was shy in, in truth and in spirit, bro. So the most high have his prophets out there to give you those instructions, man, to show you that, man. Hey, give me a hold that, hold what you hold. Give me Isaiah 30 and 20 and 21. Give me that real quick. Get back on what I said just now. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 30, 20 and 21. Isaiah 30, 20 and 21. Uh huh. Now you good, brother. You good. It's cold out like here, finger, you know, the damn phones, the, the technology and shit be freezing up on you sometimes. But hey, bear with us, bear with us. Isaiah, Isaiah 30, 20, yeah. and 20 and, and 1. Isaiah 30 and 20, it says, And though the Lord giveth you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Yeah, they're gonna be removed into a corner anymore, man. You put something in a, you put something in the corner, man. Can everybody see something? You put something in the corner. If I hide something over here in this corner right here, can the whole world see that? If I'm hiding nope. something in the goddamn corner, nope. man. All right, okay, go ahead, bro. I'm just asking, just asking the question, man. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah 30 and 20. And, uh -huh. and though the Lord giveth you the bread of adversity uh -huh. and the water of affliction. And the reason why I made that comment because when you go back and it started back with Yahweh Shema Shah, start resting the spirit, going all the way back, you know what I'm saying? Prophecy, filling prophecy, uh, Elder Alva Bivens, you know what I'm saying? Which we know that was uh, Elijah coming back in reincarnation, all right? Because he, 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 fit, he fit the role, bringing us back to our fathers, man. All right? And those that, you know, those that's in the know know what's up, man. Those that don't, hey, it is what it is at the end of the day. We, 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 know, we know it's the truth at the end of the day or whatnot, man. But that started. You know what I'm saying with you know what I'm saying elder you know Alvin Bivens with you how about Shema was shot start resting the spirit on elder Alvin Bivens and, and and the truth came out of Harlem New York man so for you know what I'm saying for the first 20 or 30 plus years man the truth was just pretty much primarily in New York man around that region man Got New York me. Philly you know Connecticut that area man you know what I'm saying down south you know what I'm saying we ain't know nothing about the Hebrew Israelites man we didn't hear nothing about the Hebrew Israelites you know the old you know uh, school one west old school one west Back in New York, we didn't know nothing about the Hebrew Israelites down, down south on the, on the west coast. You didn't have no Hebrew Israelite camps that set up like you do today. That started back in 2007 when the Spirit got, when Yahweh Shema was shot, put the Spirit on the Elders Apostles, starting with El Apostle Tahar, and start uploading videos on YouTube. Fine. That's when you start seeing camps, and that's when you start seeing this word of the truth, you know what I'm saying, being pushed out through the four corners. And when this word of the truth start being pushed out to the four corners, that's when you start seeing camps come up and pop up throughout the four corners, man. From all throughout the states, you know what I'm saying? You got camps, because like I say, prior to 2007, you had no GMS South Carolina, GMS North Carolina, you know, uh, GMS Atlanta, right. GMS LA, GMS London, GMS, GMS Hawaii, right. you know what I'm saying? You, know, you didn't have that, man. You didn't have that uh, prior to that time, you know? Hey, man, that's Satan get mad, man. That win. <laughs> that win. Go, go, go. Finishing it up, uh, uh, Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the uh -huh. water of affliction, uh -huh. 
Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, okay. but thine eyes mm -hmm. shall see thy teachers. Thy eyes shall see thy teachers, man. All right, now give me Matthew 24 and 14 real quick. It says our eyes shall see our teachers. Did, did our eyes actually physically, did we physically go to New York to see our teachers, man? No. Nope. You know what I'm saying? No, we, we seen them on what? On the internet. On the internet, man, on YouTube, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's how we seen, that's how our seen our teachers, man. Out there prophesying on the highways and byways going back Psalms 19th chapter, man. Yeah. All right, we, and we gonna get that next, man. So, you know, whoever, you know, hold that Psalms 19 on that. Go ahead, bro. It's book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Uh-huh. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all, all the, the world. Yep. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Go ahead. For a witness uh -huh. unto all nations. So a witness to all nations. Go ahead. Yep. That's why that's why you have, that's why you can have, hey, we were watching, um, we were watching, a brother had, a brother put in the group chat of a little snippet of a, uh, Goddamn Alex Jones, he was doing um on one of his podcasts when you had a Edomite woman coming out saying, like, hey man, pretty much America is finished because of what Edomites have done, man. In yeah. the world, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, the the, the offenses that Edomites had caused throughout the whole earth, bro. And and, and this Edomite woman called herself an Edomite, man. Well, she sure. said she said they, they uh they got uh bloodthirsty Edomite. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. 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 So right there, hey, Duarte, on, brother. So right then and there. Where did she get that term Edomites, man? Come on, You know what I'm saying? Man. Where she get that term? And nobody will bring the Edomites out of the Bible until, you know what I'm saying, the men, did they start seeing the men of the Lord on the highways and byways, the Hebrew Israelites on the highways and byways, pushing the word and pushing the truth, man. You know? So where she get that from? So let's show you. Everybody know about, you know what I'm saying, know about Israel, man. Yep. This truth is out here, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You had, what, Nick Cannon? You know what? You know you had Nick Cannon as far as, like, celebrities, like the Nick Cannons, your Kendrick, uh, Kendrick Lamar's, uh, you know what I'm saying? Your goddamn, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, what what, what crazy ass bitch you could have had going with them? Um, Tiffany Kyle, Haddish. Tiffany Haddish. You know what I'm saying? Lauren Hill. All of them know about yeah. the Hebrew Israelites, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had with Warren, um, I'm about to say Warren G, not Warren G, but uh, Cool G Rap, man. I forgot what podcast Cool oh, yeah. G Rap was Coogee on. Rap. Yep. Cool G Rap. I forgot what podcast he was on. He was on Fat Joe. There you go. what? Cool G Rap was on Fat Ass Head, Fat Joe um, podcast. And um, Kuji Rat was coming out just saying, pretty much, hey man, the reasons why the Negroes are suffering, you know what I'm saying, in the slums, or they're suffering through these curses due to the fact that we Hebrew Israelites, man. We, we, we God chosen people, man. You know? So that's showing you this word of truth that got out there. For Esau to put the Hebrew Israelites, when Esau won't say the Hebrew Israelites, Esau say the black, the black Hebrew Israelite, which we ain't fucking black, he'll say that he'll label us a hate group. Why would Esau label us a hate group if this word of truth ain't, ain't got out there, bro? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Going back to Isaiah 13. Right. This word done reached the, 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 the gates of the nobles, man. Gone. You know? Go ahead, bro. It says. I got this song, 19 too. Damn. Uh huh. This book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14, from the top. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom mm -hmm. shall be preached in all the world mm -hmm. for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And it says, then shall the end come, man. And it, it, it didn't happen 2,000 years ago, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? It didn't happen 2,000 years ago. It's, it's talking about now, the time that we in now, man. Gone. All right? You know what I'm saying? That's why they call it, what, what, what they call this age? They call this age, age what? The age, information. Age, 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 information. Right? information yep. age. All right? Yep. You know? Because anything you can literally find out in a matter of seconds. Yeah. You can Google anything and yep. find the answer. In a matter of seconds, man. Yep. All right, you know? Yep. And see, you know, years pass, you go back, decades pass, like, go back in the 90s and shit. Go all the way back in the 90s. Man, your ass had a goddamn go to the library and do yep. fucking research, man. Yep. Or if, you know what I'm saying, you know, you can you can read books online and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? They, yep. you, got, you, got, you, got, you got audio books. Audio books. If your ass can't that. fucking read and shit, they got audio books. They can read it to you and yep. shit, bro. You know, you ain't had nothing like that 20 plus years ago, man. Yeah. You ain't had that technology, you know what I'm saying? Well, you had the technology, but Esau didn't get that it technology. Yeah. It, it, everybody, everybody wasn't accessible to the technology. I put it like that, you know. Okay. But technology, but it's really old technology. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Yahweh Shemal Shah allowed this to come out in this time that it's in. That's right. Because the end is here, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this word had to go throughout the four corners, and Yahweh Shemal Shah used the internet as a vehicle. All right, as a vehicle tool to get the word and get the truth out here, man. Okay. You know, go ahead, bro. Now, you, you was finished on that, bro? Yeah, you mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the book of Psalms. Just to elaborate more about hey, the, the Spirit of the Lord. Hey, it's, it's through the internet, man. Yep. How, how are I seen the teachers, man? Yep. All right? Now, this is uh, Psalms chapter 19, starting at the top. Mm -hmm. It says, 
to the chief musician and Psalm of David. Uh -huh. Psalms 19 and 1. The Psalms of David right here, man. Was not was not King David a prophet? Okay. Right? Not only he was a king, you know what I'm saying? He, he was the first he was first king <laughs> of Israel. Alright, you know what I'm saying? No, he was a king, but also he was a prophet as well, too. Okay. You know? Go ahead, bro. Psalms 19 and uh, on 1, it says, The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And the firmament show up his handiwork. Mm -hmm. The heavens, man. The internet, man. The satellite, man. Yeah. All right. You know, so once you upload those videos, man, you know, you upload it on the internet, those videos going throughout the four corners, man. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? Rather, it, regardless of what time zone, like, hell, you know what I'm saying? When, when I upload a video, hey, man, this brother right here, he, he's sitting on his page. Yeah. Yeah. If it's 8 30, it'd be 8 30 at night. Hell, brother in damn China, it may be. Six or five o'clock in the fucking morning yep. and shit. See the same thing. But at the same, but but at the end of the day, the word's still going out, man. That's Regardless right. of where what part of the world you in, this word and truth going out, man. All right, this word being prophesied, man. When this brother upload uh, uh, today's camp video, you know what I'm saying on YouTube. Hey, man, it's going throughout the four corners, yep. man. You can have people in Italy can see this video right here, man. You Con. know what I'm saying? China can see this video right here, man. Con. The words of Yahweh Shimon is being brought out, man. All right, you know, that's this what bringing this damn kingdom down, man. Continually bringing this fucking kingdom down, man. All right, go ahead, all right. Okay. I'll continue on. Psalms 19 and 2, it says, Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. Hey, man, did not you how about Shema Shah? Matter of fact, don't let me don't let me talk about it. Hey, uh, get, uh, matter of fact, I get it. I get it. Read, read it again, Mark, for sure. Psalms 19 and 2, it says, Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. Why is that? Because the men, the true watchers of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, always gonna be on their watch, man. That's right. The Holy Spirit is on you, man. Hey, hey, you're gonna be constantly teaching, you're gonna be constantly prophesying, you'll be constantly exhorting Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, you're gonna be constantly pushing this word, pushing this truth, because something is happening every fucking day, man. All right, and then the Most High gave us a commandment, man. All right, let, let, let's read this right here, man. Isaiah 62 and 6, man. Oh, Isaiah yeah. 62 Ooh, and 6. Heavy. I have set watchmen upon thy walls. Mm -hmm. Now read that verse again, bro. Read that verse again. Psalms you know, 19 and 2. Yep. Day unto day. Day unto day, man. Most High say, he ain't say no every other week. Yeah. Every other month. Once in a while. Once, once in a while. <laughs> right. Every blue moon. <laughs> right. Hey, the men of the Lord are gonna be constantly pushing the word, pushing the truth, man. Good. All right. We're gonna be hey, the men of the Lord gonna be diligent, man. That's how that's how you gonna know who the men of the Lord is. Who's always constantly prophesying and pushing the word and pushing the truth, man? Who constantly doing live screen prophesying? Not 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 doing videos talking about shit, bro. Like like El Boss always say, not making no videos talking about how well could King David play a heart, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know? I did uh do <coughs> do your how shot do he wear boots and shit. Right. <laughs> Making no videos like that, man. You know how to be a better husband to your wife and shit. We ain't doing no stupid ass videos God, like bro. that, bro. Cause they ain't edifying at the end of the day. Hey, the most I tell us to prophesy, man. That's right. All right, that we're supposed to be doing, man. Come. All right. Um you go back, you'll finish you yeah, finish on that um uh, read that verse, right? Yeah, I was, I got well I got the uh, uh, the, the, the third verse, but you want to go read ahead. That again? Yeah, y'all read this again. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, uh -huh. which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Wait, we just read, right? There you go. You know what I'm saying? Yep. What, but the truth they utterly day and night, right? Yep. The truth yep. be going out, right? Yep. Reading Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never, never. hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, yeah, you come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Abu Shah, you the most I tell us, man. Let me read it again. It says, ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, keep not, not silence, silence and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in this earth, man. That's why day unto day go utter knowledge and speech, speech. You know, read that, read that verse again, bro. Okay, Psalms chapter 19, verse 2. It says, day unto day utter speech and night unto night. Show of knowledge. Yeah, man. Cause we commanded to do that, man. The men, the true men, the true prophets of Yahweh Shema Shah, and they're gonna be on their watch, man. Right. They're gonna be constantly doing videos, man. Anytime something happened, oh, something happened over here. Ukraine, oh, something happened with the economy, oh, talking about the dollar bill about to collapse, oh, something about Jacob's trouble, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let me go there, or, oh, they ain't talking about they about to defund the police, you know that, you know what happened, we do that, oh, let me go ahead and bring that out or whatnot. Hey, man, anytime, you know what I'm saying? Anytime we see prophecy fulfilling or whatnot, hey, we on it, man. Hey, we on it, man. All right, go ahead, bro. Verse uh, three, Psalm 19 and three. Oh, they talking about the MOTB. Hey, any news, any updates, Hey, bro's gonna be on it. Bro's jumping on it, man. All right? Go ahead. Psalms 19 and 3, it says, There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. 
Yeah, so Yahweh Shema Shah, like Yahweh Shema Shah said, man, ain't gonna be no clue for your sins at the end of the day, man. Right. Nobody gonna be able to say, oh, I didn't hit a word, I didn't hit a truth. At least one time, everybody gonna, hit, gonna be able to hit his word, gonna be able to hit the truth, bro. Right. Now, it's, it's on you, you know what I'm saying? You know, whether your ass go here or forbear, that's on you, man. Got you know, if, if you don't if you don't believe, awesome, because Yahweh Shema Shah ain't dealing with you. And most high blinded your ass. That's why you don't fucking believe, man. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you still ain't gonna have no damn cloak, man. Okay. All right? Hey, 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 hey. And the elect, when they hit his word and hit his truth, hey, the elect gonna be sealed when they hit his word and hit his truth. But a two third nigga gonna be marked, man. It'll be marked for death, man. You know? Go ahead and read that shit you said. It. Go ahead. John chapter 15, verse 22. If I had not come and mm -hmm. spoken unto them, they had not had sin. Hey, man, so we already know. Yahweh Shah already came and, 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 and get that testimony, bro. Oh, uh, Yahweh, man, he didn't get a testimony, man. Yahweh Shah was the word, man. Yep. So ain't no damn excuse. Then Yahweh Shah sent down the Holy Spirit, man, to, to the service the prophets, man. You know what I'm saying, you know? All right, to be with us, to comfort us, able to go into these scriptures, man. All right, able to break down break down the deep meanings, the parables, you know what I'm saying, to give that warning, man. Okay. Yahweh Shah, man. All right, well, like, like bro said, man, we the mouthpieces. Oh yeah, how about you? How was shot, man? That's no? right. Go ahead, bro. And then the script says, oh, you have some more room. I was gonna say too, because you gotta think about it when it says there's no speech, because you got brothers that speak a uh, uh, different language. Yeah, man. great point. Great so, point. Uh, so great there's point. as as a brother, uh, is Sean gonna bring that back? There's gonna not gonna be no excuses, man, mm -hmm. because the Lord comes in, 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 in the form of, of, of you got brothers that speak uh, uh, what Spanish, mm -hmm. uh, the apostles and the elders, some of them speak what uh, Italian. Hey, like, like L.A. camp. Come on, you know, man. L.A. camp, Come. like one of the larger camps, mm -hmm. Great Millstone, but L.A. camp, there's like hundreds of brothers in that camp, man. You know what I'm saying? And you got you got Southern Kingdom and you got Northern Kingdom, yeah. man. And you got you got a lot of brothers that speak Spanish, French, or whatever. Yeah. And, and that's what and that's how the brothers be out there prophesying, man, in Spanish, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? English. Got certain brothers that can speak fluent Hebrew, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Greek, the Latin, you know what I'm saying, you know? Italian, you know, all languages, man. Brothers are, are well versed, man, bilingual, man. Yeah. All right, can go into any language. And Yahweh Shema Shah is still gonna be increasing that, man. You got bros right. studying, you know what I'm saying, different languages and stuff. So hey man, you know, go ahead, bro. Hey. And, and you know we got brothers who we don't even know about. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and then the, uh, the children of Israel scattered everywhere. Mm -hmm. so yeah. You know it's at least one prophet over mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this John chapter 15 verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. they have no cloak for their sin. Yeah, they ain't got no cloak. They, they ain't got no cloak because how about Shemar Shah said he sent out his prophets. B times early, man. Most I never ever, you know what I'm saying, brought judgment to a kingdom or a nation of people without giving warning. I have a warning set to them first, man. You know, and this time ain't ain't no damn different, man. So the most high, that's why he got his word, he got the shoot available for everybody, man. The most high ain't got no damn price tag on this truth, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know you had some clowns in the beginning, you know what I'm saying, or the truth getting on the internet, you know what I'm saying, you know, trying to put prices on breakdowns, but when the spirit got when those apostles start uploading videos, man, it killed all that, man. You know, because at that time, you you know, you go back 2007 and 8, when you record, you doing videos, man, I think you only can do like 10 minutes, man. You know what I'm saying? You only can make 10 minute videos, man. So when the apostles was doing their videos, it'd be like part one, part two, part 32, yeah, part yeah, 33. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, you know what yep, I'm saying? Yep, yep, you know, because yep. like I said, you only can do 10 minute videos. There wasn't no live streams back then, you know? Go ahead, though, bro. Going back and uh, finishing up that songs. Yep. This is Psalms chapter 19, verse uh, 3. And it says, There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Uh -huh. Verse 4, their line is going, going back, out. Matthew, the 24th chapter. You have to make, tell you, y'all have a shot ain't no lie, man. That's how I said this word truth going to go throughout the four corners. That's man. right. And that's where it's going to go throughout the freaking four corners, man. All right, that's how you know, man. It's the end right here, man. It's a wrap, man. This place is a goddamn wrap, man. You can look at it, man. The spirit of this place is fucking gone, man. Kind. All right, the, you can tell the pride of this place gone, man. You know what I'm saying? Russia done killed a little bit of that damn, a little <laughs> okay. bit of pride these motherfuckers had left. Russia done killed that, bro. Go ahead, bro. Kind. Psalms 19 and 4. Here it is a damn, the damn woman. she tell you she equal to a motherfucking man, but now she want to cry out tell you she ain't want to get drafted. <laughs> All right. She ain't trying to go in the army. She, she ain't signed up for that. What the fuck you think when you sign up in the service? What the hell you think supposed to happen, man? Exactly. Before I break out, man. Fuck you. I mean, Go ahead, you're so stupid, man. Go ahead, bro. Cause so, your ass go up, your ass get set up there, <laughs> and y'all ain't coming back, man. All right, y'all ain't coming back. Y'all gonna be food for the uh, files of that uh, heavens, man. Most high promise the files, yep. man, the feasts, man. Though you clowns, 
that want to fight in Esau's fucking army, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to, going to fight against these other damn heathens in which, you know what I'm saying? Just like when it was with the Vietnam War and you had silly ass jigs in the Vietnam War fighting Esau War. And what, what the Viet Cons told goddamn Jake that was over there? Hey, Jake, go back home, hey, man. This ain't your war, war man. Yeah. It's not your fucking war, man. And they were calling you Jake, so they knew who the hell you were, man. You know? Go they ahead, man. Soul man. Soul yeah, soul man. man. Go home. Yeah, soul man, take your ass home. This ain't your war, this ain't bro. This ain't your war. You fighting a war, and here you fighting a war in your own damn so called country, bro. Kind you know? <laughs> you ain't even free in your own country. You up there fighting us and shit. You know, we got the same enemy. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, though, bro. All right. Go Psalms ahead. 19 and 4 says, Their line is going out through all the earth. It says, Their line, man. Hey, like we always have to say, man. Hey, once you go ahead and you loading up, you getting on the internet, what does it say? You online, you online. right? You know what I'm saying? When you load, when you sign off, what they say? You offline. You offline. You know what I'm saying? How else? What other, what other vehicle can you use to get a message, to get a word throughout the four corners, man, for the whole world to see, man? You know what I'm saying? That's how people go viral and shit, right? Somebody can go ahead and do something on the video or whatnot, or do something stupid, or, or do a challenge and upload it and what have it. Go viral, go right? viral, yeah. Throughout the whole world, man, yep. you know? So how much more is the word than the truth, man? Yeah. All right, you know? Go ahead, this word, this word and the truth. Hey, since the word been bought out back in 2007, hey, man, America ain't been the same since, man. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Hey, how, nope. hey, what the rapper, <laughs> what the rapper, uh, what, was that, uh, was that Jay-Z? When Jay-Z said, hey, ever since Snoop Dogg came to New York and knocked down the buildings, crushed the buildings, oh, yeah. New York ain't been the same since. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, man, America ain't been the same since, man, since, yeah, how about Shima open up the floodgates by by YouTube, by the internet, to start having this word of truth being brought out, man. That's right. You know, through the internet, man. America ain't been, ain't been the same since, bro. Go ahead, huh? Psalm 19 and 4 says, Their line is going out through all the earth, uh -huh. and their words to the end of the world. Uh -huh. I mean, everywhere, man. Everywhere. There ain't no place where this word of truth ain't, going, ain't, ain't, ain't being brought out, bro. Everywhere, man. All right? So that means we don't have to... You know what I'm saying? Um, take up donations to try to get a private jet. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Or a plane so we can fly the country. You know what I'm saying? Get on ships. You know what I'm saying? Go overseas and shit. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, it teach the word, brother. You know, we right here. We right here in little ass something, man. And, 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 and when we upload this video, hey, somebody in China can see this video. Uh, yep. I ass up here in fucking something. The wind blowing hard, the garments <laughs> blowing up. But the scripture, the word still exactly. being brought out, man. Kind. You know? Kind. Go ahead, bro. It's beautiful, man. How about showing shot? Beautiful what he does, man. You know? Go ahead, man. In Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 2, my doctrine shall drop as the rain. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, it's, it's see, G O C C doctrine about the little fleet. That, but that thing, they done disappear, so yeah. he ain't talking about that doctrine. Yeah. He talking about the doctrine of on Yahweh by Shimon Shah. The true doctrine. Yeah, they ain't, they, they ain't even fucking snow and shit, man. They doctrine ain't even fucking snow. That shit don't even stick, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, look, light little shit we get down here, down in South Carolina, man. You know, snow, it's snowing the damn early in the day, then by by late on the afternoon, the snow be done dry as fuck. No, no. shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get no snow down here like that. Yeah. Go ahead, though. But that, that's how weak, you know what I'm saying, GOCC doctrine is, man. You know, go ahead, though, my brother. It says, My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, mm -hmm. as the small rain upon the tender earth, and as the showers upon the grass. Yeah, because you know, down south, man, we down south. You know what I'm saying? You know, we know about that dude sure. where it could be like the night before, it wasn't no damn rain, or even early wee hours of the morning, it wasn't no damn rain. But yeah, how about you want to shout out to do to come up on, underneath the earth, man, as yeah. he did back in the ancient world yeah. before, during the time of Noah, before it was rain, it was due, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know? But yeah, how about you want to shout out to replenish the earth, man? You know what I'm saying? Nobody had a water or nothing, and no, no physical rain right. coming down before, before yeah, how about you want to send that great flood, man? You know what I'm saying? But like I say, the dude down south, you know what I'm saying? You know, once the dude, you know what I'm saying, you wake up in the morning, and you know what I'm saying, that dude, it gonna cover all the motherfucking grass, man. Ain't gonna be no one area, one spot of grass or whatever that dude don't fucking hit, bro. Right. So that so y'all about to shot comparing the truth. Just like if it fucking rain, that rain gonna hit, yeah. gonna go hit every day. They rain from rain gonna hit and cover everything, yep. man. So you know what I'm saying, y'all about to shot make an example, you know what I'm saying, you know, or making a comparison rather, you know what I'm saying, to the dude, you know what I'm saying, to the to the truth, man. To the truth. Gonna go throughout the four corners, man. Nowhere the truth ain't gonna be heard, man. At the end of the day, that's why it's not gonna be no cloak for Israel's uh, on sins, man. Oh, I ain't know. I ain't that uh, Jake Love. That's oh, yeah. first damn thing wanna come out of nigga mouth. I ain't know. I ain't know. You know, like you get a pass and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't know, still get fucked up, man. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Hey, the grass can't jump up. 
Mm. And then open the door and go inside the house so the rain won't drop on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So so you yep. can't escape the word. You know? You'd be like, man, I might look at YouTube on my TV. You got brother videos popping up and fuck that. I'm gonna turn the TV off and get on my phone. Brother videos gonna pop up. Yep. So you you can't escape it. Hey, let me use your phone, huh? Let me use your YouTube. Pop yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Oh, just to land back off what the brother read in Deuteronomy, he set me up perfectly. Hey, Habakkuk 2 and 14. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the it Lord. It says the earth, right? Yeah. That's why you got Jake. Yeah, that's why you got, that's like I say, that's why you got Jake waking back up to the nationality. Yep. That's why, you know what I'm saying, you, like I said, prime example. You know what I'm saying? What we said, you had the, the woman on Alice Jones, Alice Jones, so what did she say? She said, what, bloody, Blood thirsty, thirsty Edomites, Edomites man. Yep. Yep. Like I say, five, ten, even going back five, ten years ago, an Edomite wasn't confessing or automatically saying she was a fucking Edomite. Right. Man. They weren't calling themselves Edomites, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you only had like a few, and a lot of them was probably confused. A lot of them probably was goddamn Jake any goddamn way, man. But not only that, but Esau, she's gonna tell you, Esau gonna complain about an ungodly father. Yeah. So you have Edomites that go to knowledge, certain Edomites that go to knowledge, by default, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That they're Edomites, man, according to the scriptures, man. You know, whether they're knowledge or not, in the spirit, they know they fucking Edomites, man. Matter of right. fact, the, uh, the uh, Boston camp, it just happened about, what, three years ago, something like that, where that little Edomite bitch mm -hmm. had walked up to the Akim mm -hmm. and said, Esau run this bitch. Mm -hmm. she oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They getting mad, they getting salty, man, because they know they're going down at the end of the day. <laughs> No, no, what you gotta say, man. No, hey. no, she gotta say. What else she gonna say at the yeah. end of the day? She gotta save face. Uh, you know, she yeah. gotta save face. She know, she know she about to catch that big ass yeah. motherfucking L and shit. So she gotta save face. But you, better, you better believe, man. She by herself, that bitch crying, man. That bitch yeah. didn't sleep, man. That My bitch having nightmares. Risk, that bitch, have, that bitch <laughs> okay. smoking packs of cigarettes. Okay. Okay. You know, go ahead. Huh? Finishing it off, Habakkuk 2 and 14. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema as the waters cover the sea. So hey, that just let you know, man. Hey, this this whole earth, because hey, hey, when you look at all pretty much all land masses, no matter where they are in the earth, what are they covered? They're covered by doggone water, man. So that just proved that hey, this knowledge, this truth, this wisdom, and understanding uh, is here, man. It's out here, man. Right. So it's not going to be no excuse for no one to say they didn't know, man. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't. They didn't have an idea. They didn't have a clue, man. Mm -hmm. And most I still got liberty open, man. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Hey, it is 2020. You know what I'm saying? The Most High had his place locked down. You had a lot of Jake coming out because it was so much uncertainty. You know, you had Jake went working and shit. Jake, and you know, he saw pretty much had y'all niggas on fucking house arrest <laughs> without the damn ankle monitor and shit, right. man. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's so much uncertainty. And Jake want to come out and what have you, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, man, you can't tarry, man. You know what I'm saying? Why it's time, why you still have liberty now. This is the time right here, man. To come in and hey, come in and hey, you know what I'm saying, do what you gotta do, man. Do what you're commanded to do at the end of the day, man. To make your election assured. Give diligence yep. to make your election assured. Because you're not doing it for us, you're doing it for your damn self. That's right. You should have said that Eric man sought out his own salvation, man. So yeah, if sure. you sit up there, I don't believe no more, and you ain't hurt nobody but yourself, nigga. You the only one that gonna have to pay for that. You go, you still gotta answer to your how about Shimei Al Shah, man. You walk off, you still gotta answer to the most high, man. Alright, you know, so might as well stay in, man. All right, stay ten toes down and do what you commanded to do because we got a great reward. You know what I'm saying? You how about you? I got a great reward for us, man. The men, the, the men, the men that gonna stand stiffly and boldly for you. How about you? Shot, man. It's a reward, man. We got a great reward, man. If we endure to the end, man. Out of rock out, we praying we those men. All right, we ain't made it yet. All right, you know what I'm saying? We're we're called, but we're still praying that we are the chosen, man. But see, at the end of the day, we still contented though. We're contented, man. For our crown, for our crown of life, man. We contend it, right. man. We can, that's what you gotta do. You gotta fight, man. You gotta continue on the fight, man. You fall, get your ass back up, bro. That's right. Should have tell you, a righteous man fall down seven times, but what? He gets get back, back up, up though. That's man. right. You know what you gotta do? It's no, it's no excuses, and you can't emphasize that enough, man. Because like I said, it's gonna be a time the way. Hey, we ain't gonna be out here, man. You how about shot not gonna have his prophets out here, man? It's gonna be a time the way. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it ain't gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna be no damn internet. Ain't gonna be no damn YouTube, man. All right, and see, Jake, 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 Jake thought we were bullshitting. You know, some of those apostles on down, they thought we were bullshitting, you know, two years ago. When we were telling them, hey, it's gonna be a lockdown. Then when he saw locking shit down, yeah. that's when motherfuckers want to pay attention, yep. man. That's when all them damn views start going up, man. You start seeing a lot of views, and you start seeing so many people subscribe. I mean, hell, we have, uh, it could be damn Tuesday. We got, we got 100 subscribers. Damn Tuesday, we got 200 subscribers. Damn Wednesday, we got 500 subscribers. Like, God damn, 
Everybody subscribe? Yeah. How, how, about, how, how everybody all of a sudden know about the Hebrew Israelites now, man? That, that, that show you, they been know about the Hebrew Israelites. They yep. show you Jake be fucking bullshit, man. They be on CPT time. They don't take shit serious, all right? They don't take anything serious to the most high bring adversity to their front door, man. And so, and so and, and you get, about to get to the point, the way the most high, man, he get to the point, because we coming to the time of the Passover, bro. About to get to the point where yes, swift judgment is coming, man. The most high tired of looking at you stiff nick niggas, man. And the most high about to start bringing in great judgment. He bring judgment happen every damn day. See, niggas get their damn noodles blown off every damn day, man. Yeah. But it about to be even more of a higher number of that, man. And you're going to know it's coming from your how about shot, man. You're about to get even more crazy out here, bro. Especially when you seeing inflation, hyperinflation, where you see the damn truckers go on strike, you know what I'm saying? Because your uh, your food market, your grocery stores, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, uh, brother put in the group chat this week where you had a, a, a semi truck driver, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, he be loading off, you know what I'm saying, milk and bread and shit to different stores and food markets and what have you. And he was at the gas pump. And, and you know what I'm saying? He was, you know, you know what I'm saying? He was filming himself, he recording himself, and he and he recorded the gas. He showed he showed the price of the gas um, uh, 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 at the gas tank. He had to pay over a thousand dollars to fill up his goddamn God, truck. Dang. He said, "How much you think that shit gonna be um, um, uh, next week, bro?" Mm -hmm. So he said, "How the hell you think you get your goddamn food and your damn supplies and shit in the stores and shit by this bad boy right here?" Exactly. So if you know what I'm saying, so if it costed these trucks all this money for gas and oil and shit, gas and oil, how much it gonna cost the damn fucking suppliers, man? Which is your goddamn go on um, store markets and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why the price is going sky high, man. That's why he said he said don't be surprised if you see a damn gallon of milk be eleven damn dollars, man. Anybody be anybody be funny? Anybody be no? When Most High said he gonna kill the Murph in this fucking place, man. That's what the Most High meant, bro. You know, hey, hey, hey we read the scripture where 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 you had Sarnetta and, and Brother Polite back in the day making fun. Oh man, you know Israel like talking about eating eating their kids and shit. Yeah, man, because of cannibalism, nigga. Yeah. Because of the famine, and that's coming back, nigga. All right, you know you niggas most high may, hey, 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 most high may judge you where you eat your goddamn kids right. and shit, bro. This ain't no, this ain't no fun. This ain't no fun and no games, man. This ain't no, no damn jokely matter. At the end of the day, this is deadly serious, man. That's why we out here, man. All right, you know, hell, if, if we, if, if, if we, if we, if we ain't bringing, or uh, we not singing the song correctly, guess what? Yeah, how about you, my shot? Kill our ass, yeah. bro. We ain't singing the song correctly. We got fear. We, we giving you the hundred percent truth, bro. And we singing the song correctly. Certain guys playing with it. And they're gonna be made examples out of, man. To bring fear amongst the congregation, man, amongst the church of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. All right? I go ahead and get that for you. Go this ahead, is 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 21. Behold, visual shall be so good, yep. cheap upon earth. Yeah, man, because, hey, hey, just, uh, just, just, just the other day ago, yeah. hell, God, like about two and, two, two and some change for a gallon. Uh -huh. yeah. About one or something, you know, a dollar eighty-nine for a gallon. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, just, a, few, just a few days ago. Now, shit, gas almost damn fucking four dollars a gallon now. Yeah. About to be four dollars, probably yeah. be damn five dollars a gallon next month. Yeah. You know, shit steady going up, going up, going high, going high, bro. Shit. I was apostles, I was apostles been prophesied and been given warning, all right? You know what I'm saying? For a long, before YouTube, but you pre, you know, pre YouTube and YouTube era, been giving you a warning of that famine. Been giving you a warning of, in, of inflation. Been giving you a warning of hyperinflation, yeah. Now, not, 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 not now, we had the bricks of everything, no, man. You know what I'm saying? We, hey, everything's at the front door. It's at the front door now, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to tell you no more. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a time the way, and time already now, baby. <laughs> time here, man. Yeah. Time is here, man. You know? Go ahead, huh? Who will hold us up? Who, who hold they, us they up? Reading something. All right. Yeah, this uh, second entry, chapter 16, verse 21. 21 yeah. Behold, visual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall make themselves to be in a good case. Go ahead. And even then shall evils grow mm -hmm. upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And you know what you got going on right now? You yep. got them a great confusion. Niggas ain't know what the hell going on or whatnot, man. All right? No, Biden don't even know what the fuck going on. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? How the hell the damn people know what the hell going on? They all confused, man. Okay. They don't they, they don't know what's going on because they don't know this is the time of judgment of Yahweh Shema Shah. They don't know this is the time of Jacob's trouble. The worst time ever. This is right about to be the greatest judgment ever known to mankind, man. Okay. All right? Yahweh Shema Shah about to bring it. They don't fucking know that, man. The worst is yet to come at the end of the damn day, man. Okay. Great death. Great morning. 
great famine, great pestilence is coming here, man. Constant. Right? And ultimately, a great deliverance is coming. Great judgment is coming, man. That's why we're supposed to be giving that warning on. That's on, right. Man. We can't say it enough, man. That's right. right. And it's inedible, and it's right there around the corner. And that's what we're doing. We're going to do our job, man. Tell you how about you, man, shot call us back. We're going to do what we're supposed to do. We're going to do what we command to do to the end, man. That's we're right. A lot of rock we know it's men. Okay. All right. If, if, I, if I may say too. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what, what, what brother just read, <clears throat> second address. If you pay attention, that scripture said, uh, uh, "Vigil stuff be so cheap." Now the bishop was making a point too, because just maybe you know, what last month people was out here gallivanting, getting gas, buying groceries, and then as, as evils was growing, just as the scripture said, inflation was slowly but surely rising. And now we're in those times now where look at look at the gas prices, man. Brother, uh, and the bishop gave an example about about this trucker, man, paying over a, a stack. At the goddamn gas pump, man. That's yep. like a house mortgage, yep. man. Yeah, yeah. A over house thousand, payment, man. Over a thousand dollars. At the goddamn gas. And then, and then, and then like I said, no, that that just that that just for this one. Right. Like he said, that shit gonna stay to go skyrocket because gas really is not really been affected. What's going on in Russia right now? Mm -hmm. They ain't really been affected right now. That this is some America bull, this Babylon bullshit right here. The gas is going up sky high and inflation and shit going up sky high. You had price, you had food and shit going up sky high before that Russia Ukraine really. Start the damn, but that smoke start to really start, um, spark back up, man. You know what I'm saying, you know? So, so, so in Russia, you know, America putting them damn sanctions and shit or whatnot. So you start putting them sanctions and shit. Don't, don't, don't America, America, America don't make shit. America, you know what I'm yep. saying? You know, everything uh, get yeah, 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 yeah. Everything, everything get imported, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when it, so when Russia sending shit, what do you think Russia gonna do, man? When they sending their merchandise, their products and shit. They, 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 gonna, they gonna tax the fuck yeah, out of yeah. And who the hell gonna feel that? Our ass gonna feel that shit, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's when you gonna see gas, $9, 10 damn dollars an hour. I mean, $9, 10 damn dollars a gallon, bro. Yeah. That mean you really gonna fucking feel it, man. All right? Go ahead, bro. You got, you got your damn females out there crying about, man, my only fan paid this, and they take that money. <laughs> y'all really gonna be crying now, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be real bad for y'all, man. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna, hey, hey, a lot of y'all jakes ain't just, ain't just the nigga woman. Y'all niggas, man, y'all about to be in a pitiful case, bro. Y'all about to be in a pitiful case, man. If you don't get right, you don't repent. But you still got liberty, man. It's time to get right right now, man. But you still got liberty, man. Every damn day, man. Yeah, how about Shema Rasha? You know what I'm saying? He didn't. You know what I'm saying? He still got his prophets out here prophesying and giving warning, man. Can't say it enough, man. This is your time. Man, this is your time. Since you said that, I just go ahead and read the next um, verse. Go ahead, bro. Second Ezra, yep. 16, verse 22. It says, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. Mm. It says many of them, man. It says many. The more going to die, they're going to they gonna be saved, they're going to be delivered. Uh, our whole, uh, what that was, Zechariah 13, 8 and 9. Okay. Go ahead, Ricky, go ahead. Uh, you sure? Back in 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 22, from the top. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. They shall perish of famine, man. What were we just speaking on, man? Okay. What we just speaking on right now, he saw Ben telling you, you know what I'm saying, this is a shortage of food out here, man. All right, you know? He saw Ben telling you that. Go ahead, bro. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. He said the sword, man, killing instrument, man. The gun, man. There we go. All right? Yeah, I know about the outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? All right, this is uh, Second Edgeman, chapter 16, verse 22 again, and it says, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, mm -hmm. and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Yeah, man, that, that comes to the time of Jacob's trouble, man. The time that we you know, telling you about, giving you warning about what we supposed to be doing on our watch. You got certain camps, they'll tell you ain't gonna be no Jacob's trouble, man. Certain guys, certain camps, like IHPK, they'll tell you Jacob's trouble is game shit. You know what I'm saying? But you're not to be teaching, you're not prophesying, nigga, that's gay, nigga. That's being right. gay, for not teaching 100% truth, nigga. That's gay, man, that's a woman's shit, nigga. A woman always, you know what I'm saying, holding something back, man. She ain't never tell you the whole damn story, man. All right, she always leaving something out, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What you fucking <laughs> niggas be doing? Leaving, leaving that fucking information, man. You don't never tell the whole story, bro. Cause a woman to sit up there, she'll, tell you, she'll say every damn thing that went wrong with the relationship, but you did wrong. Yeah. She won't say nothing, but fuck, she did wrong, though. No, I, no, I mean, man. That's just one of one of many examples of the nigga woman. Man. Go ahead, though, bro. All right, all right a real quick. No, 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 no. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Exactly. You had uh, yeah, some more on that than you ever said. Uh, this is the next verse. If I can get it. Okay. 
Yeah, right. with us, Bobby Shaw. Yeah, 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 man. Dealing with the elements, brother. Dealing with the elements, man. Yeah. Wrestling with the wind, man. Not going with the wind, but wrestling with the wind, boy. These it's, winds kicking up around right here today. This, Go ahead, this last one, I, I had one. Uh -huh. It's a uh, second edge, chapter 16, verse 23. Mm -hmm. And the dead shall be, because you asked, we're going to do this earlier, about, mm -hmm. you know, the fowls of the air. And it, it says, and the dead shall be cast out as good. Mm -hmm. And then you do, and then that going back, what you said earlier about how to be the fowls of the, of the, uh, the heavens. How to you be, good, bro. You good. Yeah, how have promised them a feast, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, these bodies are gonna be cast out as dumb. That's right, that's right, bro. That's right, it that's says, right. and the dead shall be cast out as dumb, and there shall be no man to comfort that's them, for the earth shall be wasted, that's and that's the right. cities shall be cast down. All right, so that's what's coming. Peace ain't coming, all right? Mm -hmm. That's right, brother. Ain't gonna be, yeah, anybody prophesying about some peace, some good old times, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's a damn fucking false prophet, man. All right, you know? Go ahead, bro. Nah, hey, man. Spirit had us we talking about uh, uh, famine in that particular one, too. So I'm, I'm going to get Amos 8 and 11 because you got to think about it. Here it is with inflation and all that going on and, and, and everything being high price. The most famine that's going to gonna, gonna, uh, be effective the most is what? Famine and hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. That's right. That's what's that's what's gonna hurt the worst for you for you, Jakes, man. Cause what good is it for you to have a a a, a, a house full of food and, and nourishment, a so-called drink, but you don't have the spirit of the Lord there to protect you, man. It's not gonna do you any good at all, man. Alright, that's gonna be the famine that hurts the, the most. So this is Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai thy power that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, all right? Because you niggas still can get to go to the store, get your little loaf of bread, get uh -huh. water, whatever the case may be. Oh, still get a check, man. Still yeah, get a goddamn get, check. Get, get every check. week, every two damn weeks or what, man. Like you say, still can go to your little, you know, your little cash and carry place, yeah, cash yeah, and yeah, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go get, to your little food mart, you know what I'm saying? Like you say, still can get your little grocery. You know, you still can so-called travel, so-called normal, but, man. you know, it ain't got, to, Everything totally locked down. You know? okay. they, they still gonna stop their little so-called doomsday prep of bombers and all that. But uh, hey, look what the scriptures say. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh mm -hmm. All right, and, and, and look what the scriptures gonna allude to say, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall, they shall run to and fro to seek the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema mm -hmm. and shall not find it. Woo! They shall not find it, man, because, Ooh. like I said, man, going back, well, matter of fact, hold on. That's going to be literally a cold day. It's cold out here today. And you said they, you said they ain't going to be able to find they it, They ain't right? going to be able to find it. All right, and I'm going to let you speak on it. I'm going to okay. bring this priest up out for you. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, Yahweh by Shema Yahweh Shai. <laughs> that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Okay, they ain't gonna be able to hear the prophets out here on the highways and byways. The spirit's so real, hey, the Lord brought it back out again, man. Mm -hmm. Brought it right back out again twice, man. Mm -hmm. This is for you, uh, you, you kind of remedial people to act like you don't hear the words, man. Because these are some times that we're coming into. All these Jakes that's out here wondering mm -hmm. and, and just going about their happy-go-lucky life, just thinking mm -hmm. this is a, a good day, man. Mm -hmm. Little do they know, man. All hell is on the on the way of breaking loose, man. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and when you're not able to hear this words of the Lord, you how about your mouth? That's literally going to be that cold day, man. That's right. That's right. Got another one. Still in Amos. Amos. 5 and 18. Yes, sir. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. To what end is it for you? The scripture set off to say, Woe. As we said earlier, that, that's getting into death and destruction, man. That's right. That's and right. They say, Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord because you got. Uh, big, your big mamas and all these people at church that gonna be there Sunday tomorrow. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to find to, to get the glory. Big, to get mama, her glory. Big, big mama, her big hat big on. Big rooster hat on. <laughs> the only talking about. Oh, I, I can't wait. I know the Lord gonna call me home to glory, and they saying all this madness. They're dancing. 
Then yeah, you know, the crib walk and shit, you know what I'm saying, man. You know right. what I'm saying, the church, you know that church in this, the song, the song in the circus, man. Right. The song in the circus, go ahead. Though. And what Lord said, walk so you had desire today because going back, hey, as, script, as, as the brother said earlier, man, you people claim you know the Lord, but you don't know the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't understand, hey, what Jacob's trouble, what it really means, man. Mm -hmm. That's why the scripture say the, the ones that desire today of the Lord, man, and, and, and y'all have no idea, but hey, go, go ahead, Robert Kashan. And that's how you know that right there, Edomite right there, man. A damn, Jake, unless he homeless or Jake just bugged out his mind, he hides out, yeah, Jake yeah, hides his mind. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Jake ain't gonna come out here this type of weather. You know what I'm saying? With no short sleeve shirt on, man. Jake gonna have a damn jack, a jacket on, or Jake gonna at least have a, a long sleeve shirt on. Man, you see, damn, he might with a short sleeve shirt on, like, man. Uh, George Zimmerman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, yeah. Like, yeah, he <laughs> might be George Zimmerman and shit. Man. But anyway, Amos 5 and 18, it says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. To what end is it for you? Cause you know, hey, going back to the churches, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we were saying, they, 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 they saying they want the day of the Lord. Do they really know what that no. day holds at the end of the day? <laughs> All right. It says, <laughs> it says, the day of the Lord Yahweh is darkness and not light. Verse 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So that means, man, if you, hey, like she was saying, if you if you are destined for famine, hey, you are gonna get famine. If you destined for the sword, you gonna get that sword. You destined for captivity, hey, you gonna get that captivity, man. So in essence, whatever your lot is, you know what I'm saying. That day, that time, when you get in trouble, you ain't gonna be able to avoid it. You ain't gonna be able to dodge it, man. You can't damn euro step around it, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, Amos five and twenty. It's it's red. No, I read verse nineteen again. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. All these different animals can fuck your ass up, man. Right. Fatally, man. At right. that, man. All right. They don't bring this out of the yeah, church. Yeah, they don't bring this out of the church, man. So so once you escape, once you escape one disaster, let's say you able to escape one disaster, it's gonna be another disaster, man. You ain't gonna be able to escape all the disasters that Yahweh Shemash gonna have set for you, man. So eventually, if the most high don't get you in the wash. He gonna get you in the rents, man. Nah, simple as that, man. That's what, and that's what we, that's what we teach, and that's what we prophesy, and that's what we giving that warning, man. So you know, you can't say, hey, 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 you wasn't told so, man. You didn't, you didn't get this warning. Verse twenty: Shall not the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Hey man, simple as that, man. Yeah, so where the hell these people get off, man, talking about, oh, when the Lord comes back, it's gonna be glorious. The rainbows, our dandelions, and the sun just shining all bright, man. We just read out the scriptures. The scripture says it's a day of darkness, man, mm -hmm. and not light, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Like, that, that, that's, 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 that's a simple one on one right there, man. That's right, that's right. Matter of fact, we ain't off. I see what we ain't off for, man. Give me, um, give me a proverb. One and twenty. Okay. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter one, verse twenty, man. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey. Jake, man, you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. This is hey, this ain't the time to be looking at bros out here like this is uh uh, uh this is for entertainment, man. No, matter of fact, slow. Matter of fact, slow. Give me Ezekiel thirty-three. What you what you guys I mean, I, I see the same thing you said. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to end with it. Yeah, we're going to end with it. Like I say, Jake, this ain't the time to be Terry, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, shoot. Hey, 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 hey. Get that in on. Um, Sirach. Yeah, get that in Sirach 5 and 7 real quick, Robert Bishop. Bro, he, yo, the, bro, he, um, that's a great scripture you brought out. Going inside, listen, man. We telling Jacob, hey man, hey, giving that warning now, man. You know it's gonna be a time the way, hey, you know what I'm saying? How about you out shot? You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna have his prophets out here, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? The men of the Lord ain't gonna be out here, freaking fucking forever in the damn day, man. They think we gonna damn uh, grow great beards and we gonna be out here with kings and shit and whatnot, right. still teaching, man. But going to Jeremiah 16 and 16. Oh yeah. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. I'm talking about the elect, man. Yeah. All right. You know, then right they, what Yahweh Shah told Peter, he said, you know what I'm saying, you're out the fishing, you was a fisherman, but Yahweh Shah said, after this day, I'm going to make you fishing in the bed. Yeah, yeah. All right, you know. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I was sent for many fishers, saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and they shall fish them, and afterward I sent for many hunters, and they shall hunt them 
from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. They're talking about the elect. All right? So what, what do hunters do, man? Hunters kill at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, you know? Go ahead, bro. So there ain't going to be no time for prophesying in that time, man. Prophesying and giving warning going to be over with, man. So you how about Shemal Shah going to bring, bring it out? Straight judgment going to be handed out, man. All right, and we're getting close to that time, man. Like I say, we can't, can't say it enough, but uh, you read out that Zerat, uh I still want to Cause this is what Jake do, man. CPT sign, man. All right, but hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord said he, hey, he, he gonna, he gonna hold his tongue no more, man. Rough be paraphrasing. All right. It's the book of us, uh, Rock chapter five, verse seven. Yep. Make no tarrying to turn to your house by Shem Al Shai, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security. Thou shalt be destroyed. God, God. The scriptures say, uh, make no terror to return to the Lord and put off not from day to day. Now we already read, uh, read earlier in Psalms what the Lord said day to day, he uttered his speech. So there's no there's no excuse for you niggas to be so-called putting off day to day and being in that spirit of terror, man. Because as that scripture alluded to say, man, in your security, you're gonna be destroyed, man. And we see the state, the mind state of our people in a secure state of mind, man. They just comfortable, they living it up. We got our taxes, we got our, we got our, we got our so-called, uh, the, 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 the so-called dates by the mans is lifted. You know what I'm saying? Right, so so right. Jake is comfortable, man. Right. But that's gonna lead to what? Jake being destroyed, man. That's because right. Because you're not, you, you're, you're not returning to your power, man. You're not repenting. You don't even have repenting or a or, 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 or bone in your body to even, uh, to, to try to be a, uh, 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 Righteous for the Lord, you how about Shimmy Al Shai, man? You That's niggas, right. hey niggas, hey, we read earlier, man. The, the niggas are extremely stupid, man. Wise to do evil, man, but to do good, they have no knowledge, and that goes back to having fear of the Lord, you how about Shimmy Al Shai, man? Hey, All right? hey, 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 pretty much everything you said just now, bro. I'm gonna write in the scripture, man. Slot, bro. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna win. Hey, hey, like I say, part of the elements, man. Hey, this part of the elements. Man, job too, because yes, they, mm -hmm. yes, yes, women would have been unpacked up. Oh yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Messing my house. I'm ready to go. Hey, second edge, nine and eleven, and they that have lost my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Understood not, but despised to third nigga. The same must know it after death by pain, man. Hey, man, that's self-explanatory, man. I ain't got to say nothing, you know what I'm saying, behind that. <laughs> Scripture said it, that's that you know, plainly, man. You know what I'm saying, because the brother spoke of, you know what I'm saying, uh, brother Kabaz spoke of liberty. Niggas got, you, you got liberty now. But then, like I say, when that great spirit is going to be over with, hey, give me Jeremiah 14, 11 real quick. Because see, this is the scripture they ain't gonna bring out in church. You know, the, the, you know what I'm saying? The church, and, he, and even these false prophets out here, man, call this stuff Hebrew Israelites. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't even be preaching on this right here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come a time to where the Most High, Jacob Trouble, when that great spirit over with, the Most High ain't listening to your prayers, he ain't listening to nothing, man. He passing out straight judgment, man. He putting your ass a fucking death, man. <laughs> most High don't give a damn what age your ass is, bro. You know? Go ahead, bro. Jeremiah 14 and 11. Then said the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai unto me, pray not for this people for their good. Hey, Yahweh Shema Shai say, pray not for this people for their good. Wow. Said, so don't pray for them, man. You're not the God of the Bible. That's the all loving God, man. What? And the all loving God right there? Hey, read it again, Barbara Kishaw. Jeremiah 14. Got wax in the Jeremiah ears. 14 and 11. Mm -hmm. Then said the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai unto me, uh -huh. pray not. For this people, for their good. Uh huh. Hey, so, 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 if you don't pray for the good, what are you praying for? You praying for for the, something bad happens to them, right? You praying for they just, they they demise, they demise. They demise. Yeah. All right, you know. Well, we about to go ahead and wrap it up, man. We gonna go ahead. Promise wrapping this up. Yeah, yeah. I ain't lying. You know, literally. But we go ahead. Ezekiel the third third chapter. I want you to bring the example out where they talk. If we give the example, we supposed to get that warning to Israel. You know what I'm saying, you know? And it took it to the Jake, that's other wicked that have turned away from this wicked, which represents the elect. And for Jake that don't turn, the blood gonna be on his whole on, on his own head. We ain't gotta read all of Ezekiel the 33rd chapter. Just bring out account, just bring out both accounts and give both examples of Jake that hit his word and take heed, and Jake that, that, that don't, the blood gonna be on his own head. 
And then when you read, then you finish reading that, then just jump down to verse 32 and 33. We ain't reading all 33 verses. You know what I'm saying? But uh, okay. just, get, just straight to the point. Just get straight to the point. And this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 33, uh, starting at uh, whatever good point in the spirit for you, bro. Ezekiel 33 and 1, it says, Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their own coast and set him for their watchmen. Yeah, man, not no Kenneth Copeland, man. No damn Edomite and shit. Somebody here, a prophet, here, a man of the Lord. He ain't Kenneth Copeland, he a man of Satan. Man. Fuck he's, son, he's son of the damn wicked, he the damn devil, man. All right, he gonna tell you, Lord, I love everybody. He gonna tell you about no Jacob trouble. He gonna tell you, you're African American, man. Okay, right. so he gonna tell you. All right, he gonna tell you a Hebrew Israelite. He gonna tell you the true name of Yahweh by Shema Because it ain't for him to tell you. He the devil. All right. Speak with a false tongue, but that's who our people will give their ear to, man. They get an ear to lies all motherfucking all day, right. man. All, all right. right, go ahead, bro. Uh, Ezekiel thirty-three and uh, three. If when he see if the sword cometh upon the, the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Uh huh. Verse four. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take of not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Yeah, his blood gonna be on his own head, man. And read it again, Barbara Kishaw. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 33 and uh, 4. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet. Hear the sound of the trumpet, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, okay, M-O-T-B. I know not to take that, man. Right. All right, because the sound of the trumpet told me not to take that. If you take that, you're going against your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. God. Not to trust in the damn Egypt, man. All right, you know? Go ahead, brother. All right, uh, uh, Ezekiel 33 and 4. Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, mm -hmm. if the sword come and mm -hmm. take him away, mm -hmm. his blood shall be upon his own head. Uh -huh. Verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet mm -hmm. and took not warning. Yeah, so Jake. You know, we tell you, Jake, Jake does trouble. We tell you, don't trust in the fucking devil, right. which is Esau. And you still want to trust in the goddamn devil, even our own fucking family, man. You can tell your own damn mama. Mama, don't do this. Mama, don't take that. And mama, take it any damn way. And then, hey, hey, y'all about to take mama. Hey, yeah, you gonna feel bad because you in the damn flesh and shit, but hey, you know you gonna see mama on the other side. Hey, hey, that, that, that damn mama fought at the end of the day. I told mama, I gave mama the damn warning. So my mama's blood ain't gonna be on my damn hands, man, at the end of the uh -huh. damn day, man. All right, her blood's gonna be on her own hands. And that's any Jake, it's any Hebrew Israelite that we give warning to, man. All right, whatever, whatever uh, capacity you, you related to the person or not, or whatever. It don't matter. When you giving that warning to damn Jake, they don't take heed. Hey, man, it's gonna be a right. A regular Jake, we bump into the gas station. Hey, brother, it's very move on you. And tell that brother, hey, brother, don't take that chip, bro. Don't, 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 take, don't take that Karagma, bro. If he take it, then guess what? You did what you, you did what you commanded exactly. to do. You gave him that warning, man. You know what I'm saying? If he would've take heed, and he would hearken if you how about Shema Shah was dealing with him, hey, he could be delivered, man. You know what I'm saying, you know? So we give you the keys of salvation right here, man. Okay. All right, we give you the keys, man, to salvation, man. Ultimately, it's up to you how about Shema Shah but we give you the keys. And how would you give you the keys? Give you the truth. That's right. Like our elders apostles gave us the keys, man. And they elders gave them the keys before, right. them, you know? Go right. ahead, brother. Ezekiel 33 and five. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. Mm -hmm. His blood shall be upon him, mm -hmm. But he that taketh warning mm -hmm. shall deliver his soul. So he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul, man. And the elect is going to take warning. Why? Going back to Jeremiah 17 and 4, all of Israel fucked up, man. All right? All of Israel fucked up, man. All right? You go back over 2,000 years ago, the men of the Lord, you know, we weren't fucking up back then like that. We, you know, we fucked up. Not to the degree when we was over into America because. Jeremiah 17 and 4 said even Jeremiah shall discontinue from his heritage. heritage yeah. we, we didn't wake up knowing we was Hebrew Israelites, man. All right, you know? Not everybody was like, you know, high priest Arya. You know what I'm saying? High priest Arya, he pretty much was raised in the truth. You know what I'm saying, you know? So not, so due, due to the curses, we was gonna discontinue from our heritage. We was gonna lose the fact of knowing who we were. So all of Israel was, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, pretty much, we was in the Gentile state of mind, man. We was, hey, we Israelite foreigners, man. We Israelite foreigners, man, all right, you know? Go ahead, bro. Ezekiel chapter 33 and 6. Damn. But if the watchman see the sword come up and blow not the trumpet. Yeah, that watchman, man. Hey, hey, did we read what in Isaiah? You know what I'm saying about the dumb ass dog? Mm -hmm. you know, whatever, Isaiah, what 56, 56 and 10. Yeah, Isaiah, what, 56 and 10? Yeah. All right. You 10, know? 10 and 11. 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Yeah. yeah, the dumb ass dog, man. The prophet, man. The dumb dog, man. It wouldn't speak, man. Go ahead, bro. Wasn't giving warning. 
All right? I'm going on his damn watch. Tell you every damn thing gonna be all right. All right, that, 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 that guy. Go ahead, bro. Ezekiel 33 and 6. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his inequity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Time, man, because as a watchman, you're supposed to give that warning. You yep. say you didn't give that warning. So as a watchman, you did a disservice, man. You, you, you did a disservice, man. All right, because here the A, you no know, hey, Man, we're going to A, whole Matthew 25th chapter, bro. Hold the scripture on the talents, bro. Oh, yeah. Got to, got to, yeah, yeah. And we got to end out on, man. Right. All right? But uh, bring it back out again, Mark Shaw. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 33 and 6. It says, but if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, mm -hmm. and the people be not warned, mm -hmm. if the sword come and take any person from among them, mm -hmm. he is taken away in his inequity, mm -hmm. but his blood will I all will I but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Time, man. Because you ain't do your job, man. Like I said, you did a disservice, bro. That's just like, you know what I'm saying, we, we hire a goddamn cook. And here it is, you know what I'm saying, hey, this is the time, you know, we're gonna have the meals, breakfast gonna be at this time, lunch <laughs> right. gonna be at this time, <laughs> right. dinner gonna be at that time, man. So, you know what I'm saying, here it is, you coming, hard as they work and shit, you know. You, you, you just know your meal gonna be prepared. You can just already taste, taste it. Right. Your meal in your mouth. Taste it. I can taste the lamb chops in right. my mouth now, right. brother. Taste the lamb's melting in my mouth now, brother. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get, as soon as you get to the crib, you cook. You know what I'm saying? He ain't doing what the fuck he's supposed to. He ain't even got no food prepared, man. <laughs> right. So now you motherfucking damn pissed off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He. I mean, man, damn. I, I said, where the goddamn meal at or whatnot? Right. If he ain't got the meal ready. What you gonna do to that cook? You gonna fire his ass, yeah, bro? Yeah, exactly. Cause he, cause he did a disservice. He's unprofitable. Why the fuck I'm gonna pay your ass just to be sitting around, just sitting around, walking around the damn house, walking around the kitchen and shit? And you ain't got no damn meal prepared and shit, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, I can, I, I can warm something up in the microwave and shit. Don't need you warm up in the microwave. I can do that. I put something on the stove, man. Right. You know. So you gonna fire his ass? He doing a disservice, man. Supposed to be cooking meals and he up there watching TV or playing Madden and shit, man. You gonna fire that motherfucker? Trying to cook when you get there. Yeah, trying to cook when you get there. Are you on the phone? You wanna be wrong? Hey, baby. Hey, girl. Tell her sweet nothings and shit or whatnot, you know? But just, you know, being funny, but using it as an example. Yeah. If you yeah. pay somebody for a service and they don't do that, they don't, and they don't provide that service that yeah. you're paying for, you're going to be pissed off. You're going to fire their ass yes, or whatnot, sir. man. You know? So how much more, you, how much more was shy going, you know what I'm saying, you know, for these damn profit, unprofitable topics? Niggas that's not on their watch, man. All right? Niggas saying the wrong shit. Perverting the gospel. All right. Hey, um, uh, Bray, read, uh, read verse what? Thirty-two. Whatever. What, thirty-two or thirty-three. Yeah. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty. What thirty-one? Say what thirty-one say. Okay, Ezekiel. I swear. Go ahead. Go Ezekiel ahead. thirty-three and thirty. Jumping on down. Yeah. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one another, every one to his brother, saying. Come, I pray you, and hear what the word that coming forth from the Lord, Yahweh Bashem al So that's showing you right there, man. You know, Jake take this truth as a damn joke. Exactly. Jake take this truth as entertainment. Yeah. And also show you that Jake know that this is the truth at the end of the day. Yeah, exactly. Come that's why, like I say, when any damn thing happens, something major in the news or whatnot, you know, you think Jake gonna go to CNN or NBC or MSNBC to no. find out what's going on? Hey, Jake gonna tune into the Hebrew Israelites mainly. Great meal store. Yeah, 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 I got other other camps. Very few other camps. Yeah, they, they, they be doing their things. They be teaching too, man. They be, they be prophesying too. Ain't too many of them. But you got some outside of Great Meal store that be out there. They be on fire too. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, what niggas going? What, what niggas going on? Be tuning to the Hebrew Israelites, man. Right. Find out what's going on, man. Showing you, Jake be bullshit, man. They know where the truth lies at the end of the day, man. But see, Jake ain't gonna just come to the truth until they, 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 they gotta be forced, man. It gotta be forced, man. Like, 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 for example, a lot of Jake didn't believe in Yahweh Shah until Yahweh Shah performed those miracles. That's where, that's where a lot of them believers became believers in Yahweh Shah because of the miracles, man. Not, 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 not through faith, not through the words, you know, testimonies, but, but, but through because of what they physically had to see the miracles, man, you know. Like, 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 like right now, that was a lot of, hey, a lot of Jake, hey, like, hey, no time, hey, most I say you require that which is past. Yeah. Hey, when, that is noise, man. Like with certain certain members of the elect, hey, they gonna have spiritual power, 
guess what? You know what I'm saying? No different. You know what I'm saying? Over, like 2,000 years ago, hey, wait, wait, how much more shot give certain men those spiritual power that's on the left? Guess what? You don't think, when, you know what I'm saying? When people, when Jake here, oh man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, this dude right here, he, I know this guy right here, you know, let's say like Stevie Wonder. Hey man, one of the prophets, man, they, men of the Lord, they put their hands up there on Stevie Wonder's eyes and Stevie Wonder, he can see now, man. Right. He got 20 20 vision, baby. <laughs> you know, Stevie Wonder ain't blind no damn more. You know how many damn true believers are somebody who they know that was lame or oh, yeah. was in the wheelchair, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and miracles perform on the men of the Lord before a miracle touch him and, and in the name of Yahweh was yeah. Shah and heal him through the through the power of Yahweh Shah. Man, you know how yeah. much believers people gonna be waking up? Yeah. Come on, man. Got you know? That time coming. Go ahead, bro. Ezekiel 33 and 31. You look at the, you talk about the one third, you know what I'm saying? That was a lot of one third. Hey, oh shoot. Even some of the elect, they're gonna wake up at the last hour, bro. Some yep. of the elect, at 144,000, wake up that last hour, bro. Yep. You know? They're gonna be, they're gonna, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna compel, come in when they see the miracles, man. You know? Okay. Go ahead, bro. Ezekiel 33 and 31. And they say, blessed are the eyes that have seen. Yeah, yeah, how about you? How about you? God. Blessed. God. You no? Know? Go ahead, huh? Ezekiel 33 and 31. And they came unto thee as the people come. Mm -hmm. And they sit before thee as my people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say, yeah, we the Hebrew Israelites, man. Shalom, brother. Shalom, brother. You know? Right. Go ahead, bro. Right. Y'all bring it out, brother. Bring that's it up. That's it. Y'all got it. Yo, hey, man. Hey, Jake, Jake shit, love to say this shit right here. Hey, man, we happy y'all down here, man. We need y'all in the town. We need y'all in the city. And then, and we, and then if you don't see the ass. Same person saying that shit, you don't see the ass, man. Right. All right. See them passing by. See them uh, bumping the horn, right. driving by and shit. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Right. Shalom, right. brother. Shalom. Go ahead, bro. Ezekiel 33 and 31. Like they going to say the ass right. shit. Like they going right. to say the ass or whatever. Right. You know? Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Ezekiel 33 and 31, and they come a, a, unto thee as the people come. Uh, oh, dang. Damn that damn. Keep going. Ezekiel 33 and 31, and they come unto thee as the people come, uh -huh. and they sit before thee as my people, uh -huh. and they hear thy words, uh -huh. but they will not do them. Hey, man, you tell Jake, hey, brother, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you're supposed to vote. All right, brother, I ain't gonna vote, brother. Yeah, man, I gotta do the bless of two evils, man. My wife voting and shit, man. You know, I gotta vote too, man. You know what I'm saying? Or, hey, man, don't take that jump shot. Man, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trusting Egypt. Hey, man, my job, man. They say by the 20th of this month here, man, if, you know what I'm saying? If everybody don't have it, you know what I'm saying? They make it a mandatory, you don't have it. Hey, man, you gonna be fired, man. You know, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. I gotta do what I gotta do, man. You know, you right. don't got it warning. Right. But Jake trusts him in fucking Egypt. Right. You know what I'm saying? You told, you give Jake the damn tools, man, and it go, like I said, go in one ear, go out the other, man. At the end of the day or whatnot, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Okay. Wow. Like I said, like, cause Jake, you know, our people, man, they, they, our people about lip service. Yeah. Bro. Our people, our people lip service. And man pleases and shit, man. They want to, they think they say that to please us. Man, ain't about pleasing the fuck us, man. Ain't about pleasing us. I ain't even gonna say fuck us. But ain't about pleasing us, man. It's about pleasing you. How about you? Right. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You can you can kind of like pull the wool over our eyes and have us thinking you you somebody, you super duper Israelite, but until you, how about you? How about you? He said everything exactly. going on. Once I expose your ass. Exactly. You know, like you've been, like you been doing. Yep. And go continue on doing, man. Yep. You know, hey, hey, man, you can't, you can't fake it in the truth, man, at the end of the day, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's some of you niggas gonna learn the hard way, man. All right, go ahead, man. Ezekiel 33 and 31. And they, and, and, Shilaki, and they come unto thee as my people coming, and they sit before thee as my people, mm -hmm. and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. Shalom, that's right, brother. Yeah, brother, amen, amen, brother. Yeah, they be doing all that shit, hooping yep. and hollering and shit, man. Yep. You know, I like they in the spirit, you know what yep. I'm saying, you know? But soon, soon they leave camp, they about to commit adultery. Soon they leave camp, they about to eat them a damn, man. I gotta, I gotta eat these damn barbecue skins, brother. Got this damn fucking barbecue sandwich, brother. Barbecue, these, these barbecue ribs, brother. They eat them pork ribs, brother. You know what I'm saying? But no, they don't supposed to be eating no damn pork, kind, man. Kind. No, but niggas still going off, though, man. All right? Niggas still, like I said, committing adultery, man. Doing Shit things of the, the fucking world, world man. Still right. doing things of the fucking world, man. Okay. You know? Go ahead, right? For with their mouth, continuing on, Ezekiel 33 and 31. Hell, nigga still, hey, brother, you don't supposed to be getting no line up, brother. You don't supposed to be lining your head up, brother. Right. You don't supposed to be lining your beard up. Yeah, yeah, that's right, brother. Cut, 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 cut. Right. They say, you know, nigga in the barbershop getting a fucking line up. Right. A fresh ass line up, too, man. Right. You know? Hey, that's niggas for you, man. You know, it ain't got no fear of your house about your mouth shot, man. You know? Not shit anyway. 
Go ahead, bro. Continue on, Ezekiel 30, 33 and 31. For with their mouths, they show much love. Oh yeah, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. But they, but they, but they don't show it in action, man. Right. They only show it by words of mouth, man. Yeah. Which don't mean shit at the end of the day. That's why they have a term in the uh, term in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? You know they they they'll tell you what money talk, bullshit walk. But they tell you what action speak louder speak than louder words, than man. Words, yeah. Action speak louder than words, man. Go ahead though, bro. Okay, it says, for with their mouth, Ezekiel 33 and 31, for with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their own covetousness. Yeah, man, after their own minds, after their own vain as imagination, man. Yeah. You know, Jake, Jake can tell you, they about to get an Israelite community, man. You want to build an Israelite community? Right. Where that in the scriptures, man? How the hell you going to build a community in hell, man? Right. Where, where, where in the scripture where you have a smile with shine? The last days, you're going to get America, you're going to get the Hebrew Israelite, you're going to get a, a small remnant and build a community in Babylon. Right. Where, 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 what scripture that is, bro? That ain't in there, bro. That ain't in there, man. That ain't in there, bro. That ain't in there, bro. And Yahweh ain't even had a dwelling place, man. What the fuck right. you talking about building a damn, building a goddamn community? Uh, community, bro. You know, John, hey, John the Battle was in the wilderness, man. I'm about building the uh, fuck community. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's your own imagination, your own vain imagination at the end of the day, bro. You know, how about you shine with that, man? But, 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 but go figure, the same person that'll celebrate themselves for being in the truth 20 plus years, though, man. The same person. I'm talking about building a community in Georgia. You know, Israelite community in Georgia. Go ahead, my brother. Ezekiel 33 and 32. And lo, thou art unto them a very lovely song. Yeah, man. And like I said, it's true. It's, an, it's entertainment to Jake at the end of the day, man. Right. The way we're able to go into the scriptures and break the scriptures down, it's like a musician at the end yep. of the day because everybody can't do it. Right. Everybody can't get on the stage and, and sing like a Patti LaBelle or Whitney Houston or Teddy P or Luther Vandross or whatnot. Some of your most talented singers, you know what I'm saying, never hit the, sta hit the stage, man. You know what I'm saying? But now, you know what I'm saying, comparing it to the truth, you know what I'm saying? That's how the people look at us as entertainers, man. Yeah. They never broke, they, they never seen the scriptures break down the way it's been breaking down as entertainment to them. They know it's true, it's entertaining to them as in the sense of they hear it all day, but they won't act on it or whatnot, yeah. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's entertaining, entertainment to them, man. All right. Like, we can sit up there and we can watch an old Western movie or action action movie, but we ain't gonna go out there and try to, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, sit up there and, and play, play that shit out in the real world right. and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just fucking entertainment. Right. That's all it is. Entertainment, man. You know what? 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 One of them little violent movies on um on PlayStation. Them kids be playing all the time. Oh, Grand right? Theft Auto. Yeah, Grand like Theft. Grand Theft yeah. Auto and shit. That's like that fucking entertainment. You may play the shit, but you ain't gonna get out there in the real world and try, try to, to you, carjack somebody. Yeah, you got some idiots out there might might try to do that shit, but still, you know, you get a point what we talk about. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna act on it, cause we know it's entertainment. At the end of the day, man. That's right. the purpose it served. That's how these niggas look at the men of the Lord, man. Right. Look at us as entertainment. We tell them, hey man, don't take don't take the chip, MOTB. Hey, when pressure hit, we think a nigga gonna do you think they gonna take those words, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 you gonna take them daggone words or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Hold those words at heart. You know what we saying out of the scriptures, you yeah, how about your mouth shot? Nah, man, but like, man, fuck what you talking about, man. I had a mindset like little Boost. Hey, man, this only damn meat that's available. I'm gonna eat this. I don't give a fuck with pork or not. I'm to the Lord, help you, Lord, and all that matters and whatnot. Nah, man, that's going off, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know? Um, go ahead, bro. Con. Ezekiel 33 and 32. And lo, thou art unto them a very lovely song mm -hmm. of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. Right. For they hear thy words, uh -huh. but they do them not. But they ain't gonna do it. Going back, it's just entertainment to them, man. Even though they know it's the truth. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you're about dealing with you, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day or whatnot, hey man, you, you gonna fall in line, man. If not, you know what I'm saying, you gonna continue being another goddamn motherfucking world, man. You know what I'm saying? You had a lot of Jake, you had a lot of Israelites, you know what I'm saying, that knew that, you know what I'm saying, you know, John the Baptist, they knew uh, Apostle Peter, you know what I'm saying? They knew Paul. They knew those was men of the Lord, man. They knew there was prophets of Yahweh by Shema was shot. Just because they knew it, you think they followed? Hey, they knew Yahweh was shot. Was Yahweh was shot, man. Or he the king, king of kings, man. They knew Yahweh was shot was the savior, man, of Israel. They, a lot of them niggas knew that, but they still ain't go, they still didn't follow Yahweh was shot, man. Even though they knew that, they, they knew he was Yahweh was shot. They knew he was the savior of Israel. You know, but they still didn't follow. Just like the damn day. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, man, they, they hear the word, start with the elders apostles, a great millstone on down us, man. They hear the word, they hear the truth being brought out. They can hear it and they can shake their head because the truth is the truth. 
You know, when brothers bring out the truth and it resonate with their spirit. Hey, we the children of Israel. We went to slavery and captivity. They know that we the only nation of people that fit, that fit the prophecies, man. So yeah, they'll shake their damn head. They'll rock their head back and forth and shit. Yeah, that's right, brother. That's right. Any devils going to slavery and captivity. That's right, brother. But you think they're going to do what uh, Yahweh Shemashah commanded them to do? You think they're going to get with the law, such and commandments to the best of their ability? You think they're going to keep, you know what I'm saying? You think they're going to keep the Passover? You think they're going to give away fucking Christmas and shit? You know what I'm saying? They're going to cut these pagan holidays out and shit? You think they're going to keep the high holy days? You know what I'm saying? You think they're going to keep the Sabbath to the best of their ability? They're not going to do that. That's strenuous to them. You think a woman going to sit there and put pants on? Nope. You know what I'm saying? You know? They don't dress in no manner of a man or, you know, or vice versa. You think they're going to do that? No, they're still going to be wicked. Man, Jake's still going to be fucking wicked. You know? Go yeah. ahead, bro. Continue on. Yeah, the last verse of the Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, Lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Hey, man, when you how about you shot bring that judgment? Hey, when, when, when they see, when, you know what I'm saying, when they see that lockdown back, when they see the lockdown back, mm -hmm. when they see that damn dollar bill collapse, you know what I'm saying, when they see the, the new uh, money currency, Federal Reserve currency, when that shit get changed digitally, and then when they see Esau pushing the MOTB, you know, you can't buy or sell you know what I'm saying? Every all your money transaction will be transferred mm -hmm. to this chip. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, then they gonna consider then, man. Then, 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 then they gonna consider because who's the only group that was bringing it out? Great Millstone. That's right. That's how they gonna know. Oh, Great Millstone, they the one that has it. Those, those are the prophets of the Lord. But then they gonna be too damn them damn late. Because if you ain't build up, you how about you shy and dealing with you? What's gonna happen, man? They gonna take, they gonna wind up taking that chip, man. All right. But with that, you know what I'm saying? That's the end of our listen. That's the conclusion of our listen. And we hope that that was edifying to the body and the hopeful elect. And with that, we want to say and give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rakakadash. Secondly, we want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well. And third, we want to give salutations, give salutations to all the Akim, that's all the hopeful elect that labor for this word and this truth in righteous sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 and Quam Yashal, Quam Yashal.